Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. All righty. What is happening, people? You've made it to a Friday here in April on Ruskin and Zach. Right here on ESPN Arkansas and on HitThatLine.com and the Hit That Line Now app. Welcome. We're here. It's time. Yeah, it's time. Friday. Woo! Friday. Yes, yes. And uh, introducing now um, <laughs> today's uh, birthday uh, girl. There she is, Taylor Swift. Hi. Wow. Uh, DQ. All. Uh, shout out to our uh, sales team for uh, decking out uh, DQ's uh, room in there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I mean, you can't look at that if you're on the radio. Yeah, but you know I, what I mean. Yeah. I mean she's the, got a big uh, Taylor Swift flag, some balloons. Yeah. What There's is a the, cake, and I got some stickers. What's the yeah. sash say? It says, it's my birthday. Okay. All right. Almost an office reference. It is your birthday. <laughs> it is your <laughs> almost. It's pretty close. Pretty close. 32. Wow, All look right. at that. Welcome in. Yeah. Well, it's 23, but <laughs> you know, close. You live your own <laughs> truth. I'll live mine. We're going to um, give you DQ's thoughts in... I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Mm-hmm. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. We'll do that because there is a uh, massive uh, Taylor Swift album that has uh, dropped. And uh, oh, and it, he's going to give I us got a book a text report at 2 a.m. about it. Yeah. Not you know, from her, from, from another Swifty. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't <laughs> get it. I didn't get it till, you know, like eight o'clock this morning. But uh, DQ came in. She was beaming. She yeah. was very excited. But, but she knew what was going to happen. There was like a little surprise. Well, yeah. I mean, this happened with the last album mm. where she at 3 a.m. released five songs. Yeah. She didn't do anything. Uh, there was some guy that uh, probably made a minimum wage. Yeah, Spotify. Spotify. Who's yeah. the guy? Yeah. Who, 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 that, where is that? That's the real hero. Is of, it time uh, yet? True. All right. Time to do it. Surely it's all scheduled and automated. There's oh, not absolutely. actually someone hitting upload at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm sure think. she was not doing it. I don't know. By the way, if you think your favorite uh, news organization is tweeting out headlines at 4 a.m., no, that's all automated too. But uh, somebody, you know, someone has to set it all up, I suppose, right? That's how that goes. Anyway, DQ's birthday here. We're in a very uh, celebratory uh, mood here on uh, Ruskin and Zach. So join us here at 866 285 4005 on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Anything? Ah! An all timer <laughs> yesterday, if you missed it. Um, we had uh, Joe in Avoca and his dog howling. <laughs> That's Joe. And then the dog would dog uh, answer in, uh, a little bit later on in, yeah. the, in the background. And um, yeah, it's on the podcast. If you'd like to go check that out to the uh, United Roofing well, and Waterproofing I'll remember podcast. Where we were when, uh, when I sure, Joe's dog howled. I sure will. Yes. That's yeah. right. So far, I'm almost 67. I still got all my appendages. Well, yeah. <laughs> thank God for that, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, that would be good. That's good. Uh, people asking uh, if this is AI DQ or is this an actual DQ? It is actually her. She was actually early today. I think you were just trying to prove a point. Well, uh, I yeah. didn't. I wasn't trying to, but it, it just happened. To it work just happened out. that way. Okay. She yeah. was in at 8:50 this morning. Good. That's very good. Builds character. Yeah, to make up for my lack of work that I did today. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll get to get the full rundown on this uh, on this uh, major uh, cultural touchstone here coming up in a moment on uh, Ruskin and Zach. Yeah, the happy birthday um, uh, wish is pouring mm-hmm. in. That's very good. Uh, we like to see that. We like people uh, being nice. Um, Bill talked about the Rockies today. Yeah, your Rockies had a glow up. They had themselves a moment, didn't they? Still had trouble with the FFA, FAA, not the FFA. Not the F, well, I mean, according to DQ, the FFA also uh, in charge of uh, flying. But yeah, they still- I think I was calling Chuck Clay yesterday too. I, I don't. I, I'm losing it over here. It's it's over. 
It was a good run. As you get older, DQ, this is good for you too. As you get older, you have to concentrate more. Yes, you, you can't do. just focus. wing it. You got to focus. You got to focus right. on what you're doing. Right. Yeah, you really do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great question from uh, Ryan and Prairie Grove. Uh, does AI DQ know Fayetteville? Yeah. Probably not as well as I okay. do. Yeah. That's probably true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm slipping. I mean, it's going to be, you know, Sterling's and uh, John Sterling's in better shape than me. Well, you know, and he quit already. More than likely, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's the way it is, I guess. I don't know. Um, Ross and Farmington on the McClarty Dome Hotline. I love this sentiment. Congrats on another successful trip around the sun. Right. Yeah, we another we've revolution. People, we've got people celebrating that uh, it is DQ's birthday and Taylor Swift dropped an album so that we won't have to talk about sports. That's, uh, yeah, that's good. It's sort of uh, like, you know, it's a byproduct of all of this. Listen. The NFL draft is a week away. Uh huh. You'll get plenty of sports then. All right. We'll talk about the teams next Friday that screwed up the first round, the teams that we liked in the first round. You'll get all that. But in the meantime, what do you want here? Uh, if anybody uh, jumps in, jumps on the team, we'll talk about it. And, uh, you know, there you go. Hey, you got a new assistant coach. Yeah, Kenny BK. Payne. Woo! The last time we saw Kenny Payne. <laughs> He was getting his head kicked in at Louisville as the head coach. Well, That's was the last time he we was saw. blaming a lot of people for his failure right. in, uh, in Louisville. But now there are two there are two elements of this Kenny Payne uh, story. Number one, uh, most recently, most recently, it didn't go so well as the head coach in Louisville. Here's the other thing, though: Kentucky never went to a Final Four under Cal without also Kenny Payne. true without Kenny Payne on the bench. So. Do with that, wrestle with that in your own uh, in your own mind as you will. He worked there from uh, 10 to 20, 2010 to 2020. Then he worked with the Knicks for a couple of years as an assistant. And then he most recently was a uh, uh, Graham, Louisville. Graham is wondering out loud, is that the guy from Sports Center? So that's Kenny Maine. Uh, okay. Thank you, Graham. No, that's a- uh, Big Keith in Hot <laughs> Springs wishing DQ a happy birthday and to extend a middle finger to all the haters who said that you would not be here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what, what was it? The 60%? 61% of the uh, respondents said you would not make it today. Not only is she here, but her uh, room is decorated Yeah, in full regalia. But she did throw a little bit of a tantrum when we asked her to leave for a little bit. Uh, no. Yes. Well, yes. The yes. party planning you, committee had to do some You decorating. asked me to get the most embarrassing things <laughs> from Casey's. Two slices Hold of no, pizza. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there are far more embarrassing oh, yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. We, we could have sent you to Cupid's. No. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> these people are starting to recognize me. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So your now fa- your fame precedes you. <laughs> today, I got two slices of pizza, uh-huh. a Dr. Pepper, right. a Red Bull, yep. and a can of Altoids. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's embarrassing. It's a Zach plus pizza. Yeah. Plus two slices of pizza. We were two hungry. slices of pizza. Yeah. yeah plus I hadn't had lunch. That was my lunch. My instructions were clear. Yeah. You needed to be out of the building for 15 minutes. Yeah, we needed yeah. an errand. We needed so, an errand. So, yeah, that's what you get. I could have sent you somewhere else. No, yeah. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. The two slices of pizza, though. Now, who did this? The committee that plans parties or the party planning committee? That's who, very, who, very good. This, this is an Angela thing. Will it? Angela be in the alley throwing uh, Christmas <laughs> ornaments on the ground <laughs> in disappointment over uh, this? Uh, this uh-huh. party. I think it's going pretty well. Though. And and hey, much like. Much like a Michael Scott birthday, we're not going to get any work done for the next few no, hours. No, 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 so no, no, just no, no, get no, no. get your heart right now. It's not we're not mm. doing we're not accomplishing anything today. Uh, great question from out, out of the four seven month four seven nine was my two a.m. text about Taylor Swift from Tommy, Ty, Chuck, or Clay. Uh, none of the above, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, a, a listener to the show, and and it was prefaced by saying, "I know you won't get this until you get up to pee." Which is boy, they know you. Boy, that, yeah, wow, well, that's, I mean, that's look, freaky. When you look, when you hit a certain age, <laughs> your body just it's like, hey man, wake yeah. up, we gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Kenny Payne, by the way, born in Laurel, Mississippi. All right, home of the uh, the what are they called? The uh, the the hometown people of Ben and Aaron Napier on HGTV. Uh, Lurch that? points out DQ, you could have gone to a different Casey's. It wouldn't have mattered. I would okay. still be getting two slices of pizza. But she's in the system, so they know her at all the cases. Ron in Fayetteville says, 23 years ago today, the world became a better place. Happy birthday, DQ. It did? Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Very good. Wow. Huh? Okay. I'm up. I'm here. I'm awake. Oh, boy. I'm keeping up. at your house. Um, enjoy the full closure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at my house, we get we get a kick out of Big Mike's uh, God, that was boring. <laughs> <laughs> we do like that one a lot. Do you like that one? Yeah. I hope they get hit by a bus. Wow. All right. 
I choosing violence today. Okay, we'll be back and uh, we'll do some newsy stuff. And, yeah, we'll get uh, uh, DQ's official comment on the Rockies. Yes. Uh, barging into a 757 cocktail. And thoughts. Right? DQ's thoughts. Day. Day. Today on a special episode. Uh, we'll be right back on ESPN Arkansas after this. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. Around here at Wrangler, we are all excited for spring. The longer days, the warmer nights. When you've got your pick of shorts and jeans, either works just fine. Because comfort keeps us going. So grab your family, your friends, and your Wrangler layers for some fresh air adventures together. Blue skies, open roads. Wrangler, for the ride of life. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Is this the right time of year to sell your home and buy something new? Hi, this is former Razorback and Super Bowl champ, Brett Good with Collier & Associates. The market is changing. Mortgage rates have declined in recent weeks. Do you know what the current market value is for your home? Call or text me today at 479-651-2292. And let's discuss your best options in today's real estate market. That's 479-651-2292. Or go to our website and search nwahome.com to start the conversation. Good team at Cardinal Associates wishes you the best in 2024. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. We work to design an insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter Insurance ranked number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region five out of the last six years by J.D. Power. Call my friend, J.T. Finley, at 479-521-4220. Or come by and see him in the heart of Fayetteville, off College Avenue. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years in business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice in prime meat. Petty Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, one block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 
449-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, 479-443-0000. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. Absolute Janitorial Service is a family-owned and operated commercial cleaning company serving all of Northwest Arkansas. We have a long track record for exceptional service and clear communication. We clean multiple facility types, including office buildings, medical facilities, manufacturing plants, churches, schools, and much more. Give Absolute Janitorial Service a call today for a free quote and see what an absolute difference our services can make for your business. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Welcome to the entertaining portion of the broadcast day. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. News is brought to you by Good Chair, because I had to have a place to sit. Get the Good Chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by, tell Robert, Joe Bonamassa sucks, and you would like a seat in the Good Chair. Uh, We've got baseball tonight, uh, broadcasting live from South Carolina. Arkansas, will you make the final point? Looking pretty good. Looking good. uniforms with the pigs with horns and... Did I hear you say you were playing a game today with the home crowd yelling, woo, pig suey. Hey, those pigs may be hogs, but they're kosher to me. Be sh- Baseball team hits the road this weekend for a three-game set down in Columbia, South Carolina. Gamecocks ranked 20th in the country. Razorbacks 32-5 and five on the year. Just 3-3 three and three in true road games. Mm-hmm. South Carolina 26-11 and 11 overall, 8-7 and seven in the league. They're 18-4 and four at home. First pitch tonight is 6 p.m. We're on the air at 5.30 with the Dugout Show. You can hear the game on selected ESPN Arkansas stations. We'll hit that line.com and the Hit That Line app. Arkansas coach John Calipari reunited with Kenny Payne, the former Louisville coach. Uh, Payne, who was fired by Louisville last month, will serve as the associate head coach on Calipari's staff. Arizona State mm-hmm. freshman Jaden Rashada set to enter the transfer portal. That, according to his agent, Henry Organ, of Disruptive Sports, yeah. told ESPN Rashad, Rashada appeared in three games for the Sun Devils last fall. He was the overall number 31 recruit in the 2023 class. And I know what you're thinking. The answer is no. UConn freshman guard. What do you think? What are we thinking? Uh, UConn freshman guard Stephen Castle is entering the 2024 NBA draft. Told ESPN that today. Castle is ranked number nine on ESPN's list of top 100 prospects. Your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809. DQ. When your low fuel light comes on. And how many miles to go would you be considered irresponsible? 10, 5 to 9, 2 to 4, 0 to 1. Well, my low fuel light comes on whenever I have... When you turn your car on. (laughs) No. (laughs) When I have, I think, 60 miles Mm -hmm. left. So um, whenever it gets to about 20. 20. That's when. Because that's when it... choices, but okay. That's when it stops showing me. Okay. Six. So I'm in the dark. The 63. light just gives up at that point. Yeah, I don't know why. Nine <laughs> percent of you said ten. I think you're irresponsible at ten. If if you're going to run it that close, I, I think you have a problem. Uh, DQ is health insurance so expensive these days that snitches are now getting band aids? <laughs> yes. Ninety four point two percent of you said yes. DQ using your math, it is your birthday and you are twenty three. How old are you using 
your math. That's right. That's the key. Using mine? Your math. I guess closer to 25. Mm. 43.8% of you said 20. 35.6% of you said 25, which is the correct answer. But I'm 23. Using your math. Not 25. You're in your mid-20s. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. are brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Okay. Uh, we will get to DQ's thoughts uh, in a moment on um, on the, uh, the uh, album drop. Uh, a busy text here from uh, Rusty, our, our good friend Rusty on the McCarty uh-huh. Daniel hotline. Uh, number one, too yep. much sports this week. We have a standard to maintain. Okay, yep. You're, Rusty, you're right on that. That's number, our bad. Number two, to kill a mockingbird at the Walton Arts Center was fantastic. Uh huh. And number three, if Joe Badamasa sucks, where do we fall on Roy Clark? That's a great question. Um, okay, so different disciplines. Uh, Roy played banjo. I, I'm not. He as, also played guitar. Uh, but he was better known as playing, for playing the banjo. Am I right? I don't know. I I. When I had a um I had a cousin or somebody that was um um had like a how to like Roy Clark did a book on how to teach guitar. Not banjo, guitar. I mean, he may have done a banjo well, okay. one too. I just D- know that does guitar Joe one. Bonamassa have a book on how to play guitar? No. Does he teach people? I don't think so. Okay. Roy Clark taught people. How many people go. learned to get te- learn to play right. guitar because of Roy Clark? I think that's in the Bible. You have to teach people to play guitar. He did play banjo right. too, but and that's the uh that's the you're thinking of uh of hee haw. When, yes. when Buck and Roy, Buck would play that red, white, and blue guitar acoustic, and Roy would play the banjo. Right. And, you know, they'd all be sitting I around making jokes. I didn't realize Roy Clark did anything else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Roy Clark. Yeah. I, I, I we would, lost Roy. I would back, side with Roy Clark on that. Okay. All right. To Kill a Mockingbird is fantastic at the uh, Walton Arts Center, and I don't get free uh, tickets, but uh, you should go see this thing. It is an adaptation written by Aaron Sorkin, who is indirectly a friend of the show because he's a friend <laughs> of Mike Neighbors. So, I mean, that's, yeah, uh, that, that counts, yeah, right? That, that counts. He sat by him on a plane We're like once. second cousins to Aaron Sorkin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're distant, distant right, relatives. Right. But it is great. It stars uh, Richard Thomas as Atticus Finch, who played John Boy on the Waltons. And also, and I was going to save this for what I learned, but I'll use it now. He appeared as Wendy's father in Ozark. Yes, yeah, he yes, did. he did. Yeah, he was. He's he was good in that. Yes, he's also. In- Wendy was terrible. Oh yeah, no, Wendy's terrible. worse. Wendy's terrible. He knew uh, that. He knew they were involved. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. he also is in the Americans, which is a really good show a few years ago on FX yeah, 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 with uh, Russian off. spies and uh, and uh, Carrie Russell and, and her brother. Matthew Reese. Yeah, killed her brother, and he knew it. Yeah, Richard yeah. Thomas knew it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. awful. But he was he was terrific. Uh, I went last night, and uh, it was fantastic. And um, it's um, I don't know. It's really good. I wish I could see it again. Honestly, it's really good. Well, you can. You can. Probably. Well, I could go again. Uh, yeah, yes. I mean, it's I, very, very simple. The only thing yeah. impeding it is you. Yeah, but I'm glad he was there. You know, sometimes you know you, you go on a weekend, you might get an understudy. You know, I got we got the A team. We got we got the first stringers last night, and it was it was outstanding. So, uh, yeah, go see that if you can this weekend. Well, Walton Art Center, Fayetteville. High Fat Carnivore has a text in. Uh, welcome to your mid twenties, DQ. You should be happy for another ten years or so. Then you're going to start falling apart physically like us. Mm. Thanks. No, it happens. Got to make you feel better. <laughs> 30 is really when your 100,000 mile warranty expires and stuff starts breaking. So, yeah, yeah. then all the lights start right, coming yeah. on. Like you your know. car. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All the lights start coming on. It starts to resemble a right. game show set from the 70s. Then with it's all the just, blinking lights then and you stuff. Just, yeah. you, you settle in one day and say, okay, what pains can I live with? Yes, that's right. What can I live with? What do I have to get? You have fixed? to do the calculus on, uh, and I never took calculus, but you have to nope. do the calculus on what can I bear today? Right. It's look, my knee hurts all the time. Yeah, I can live with it. It's yep. fine. Yep. That's Back right. pain, just part yep. of the part of the deal. Yep. Uh, Greg in Farmington is Texas to uh, let us know his favorite hee haw was when Roy Clark and Glenn Campbell, who's another elite guitar player, um, did Ghost Riders in the Sky on guitar. Okay. You know that one? Uh, no. I think I sang Ghost Riders in the Sky once in, in the uh, Riders High on the Choir. Storm. I didn't do that one. No, okay. no. I think we did Ghost Riders. We did Ghost Riders in the Sky and we did They Call the Wind Mariah mm. in Junior High Boys Chorus. I remember those. Lot, lots of great uh, advice coming in. Paul in Fort Smith, DQ, he says at 30, you start going to the bathroom just in case. <laughs> yeah, you never want to get caught out in an area where you know you haven't been to the bathroom or near a bathroom in an hour. You also have to take stairs seriously. Yes. You can't take yes. it for granted. Sears, stairs are a, um, it's a hazard. Now. Like whatever tempo you're going, mm-hmm. slow down. 
slow down and pick I the stairs. I can't run up the stairs anymore. No. Uh, if, if you, no. If you want to fall down Don't ever stairs. do that. Uh, if, if you want to fall down the stairs, you could. Yeah. I mean, they, yeah, they'll, uh, they'll they'll bring you down the stairs. Gravity. Yeah. You know, I found this out today. I was, I'm not afraid of heights anymore. I'm afraid of gravity. Gravity is the thing that crashes you into the earth. That's the thing you got to watch for when you're going down steps. Gravity. Gravity is, although I don't believe in gravity. So, I mean, that's... something something is pulling us to the center, but I don't know if it's gravity. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I've, ne- I've never seen gravity, so I don't know if it's real. But you know, you, some, sometimes you on. can't see it. Yeah. That's right. What is this? A tribute to Buck Owens. Oh, this guy uh, sent us him himself playing guitar. And he's got a uh, red, white, and blue uh, electric guitar. Is that a bass? That might be a... Uh, it's got six strings no, on it. No, it's got eight. Eight strings. I can't see. That's another thing. Yeah, I wanted, let me see this thing here. Hmm. Yeah, great great point. No, from it's Ryan. got six. You're right. Great point from Ryan in Paris on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. You definitely have to pee before you go to bed now, DQ, so you can get a solid three hours before you have to get up. Yeah, okay. got to think about all that. Yeah. These are all things you better start thinking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um. Uh, here's a text for, towards you, Zachary. Mm. You should be ashamed of yourself living in Arkansas and not knowing ghost riders in the sky. I know spirit in the sky. Norman Greenbaum. Norman Greenbaum, yeah. Right. <laughs> Just a funkier version. It's a six-string bass. Thank you, David. Okay. David's got a six-string bass that's painted up like a uh, like a Buck Owens red, white, and blue guitar. The Bakersfield sound. Piggy Smalls, uh, his text said, Ruskin sounded like Aaron Rodgers. Oh, boy. Is that guy, yeah. Uh, He's found a new one. This yeah, I, I think you know what's funny is I think we're sto- We're not. We're no longer paying attention to the things that he's saying. There's only like a certain certain segment of the population that actually listens to him. Yeah, I just want to see it, and then just like, and then I want to see if there's any consequences because he is one of these people that so far has avoided consequences for oh. saying some uh, some things. Hey, look what we got. Oh, there it is. There it is. I know this. Oh, it's like uh, Apollo 13. Remember right. when he hit the thing? DQ, you ever hear this? Yeah. This is a good song. This slaps, yes? Well, that was uh, supposed to be uh, 2001 in honor of our uh, spacecraft, the Odyssey. Fred Hayes, Renaissance Man. <laughs> I don't know a uh, ghost rider in the sky, but I do know Norman Greenbaum. Yeah. Stop. Got the tape player spinning yeah. around in the, in the capsule. What's wrong with that? Yeah. I like that movie a lot. Uh, let's see here. Uh, DQ stuff. should get paid time and a half for working today. Why? This it's is, this Friday. Is, this is not a company yeah, holiday. Th- you don't understand. You know, how- this is what's wrong with these Gen Z years. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. And really the uh, younger millennials, too. I'm a geriatric millennial. I don't believe you should get your, you know, your, a birthday, uh, you know, day off or a holiday or any of that stuff. I mean, unless you want to burn a vacation day. You're right. More yeah. You're more than welcome that, to yeah. take your, your birthday Absolutely. Out. Yeah. That's right. Uh, BE says, add spot on Jim Lovell to the ever <laughs> expansive. <laughs> One day, be uh, the next time we run into your uh, remote. Bring me the list of the uh, impressions. It's the, the ever expanding list. Al Please. has uh, tweeted at us. So Roy Clark also did good ads for a uh, Hunt's ketchup. I remember that. Okay, you can't. Re- you have no idea who Roy Clark is, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know DQ. If you like, for people my age, if you saw him, you you'd at least him. recognize right. the face. And oh, that's that guy. I don't even know if you saw him, you would know his face. Roy Clark, she's googling Roy Clark right now on the computer, so we can see. No, you ever, you've never seen, I've him, never seen him. Have okay. you ever seen so Hee Haw? Um, no. Okay, but I've seen It's a Wonderful Life, <laughs> and they talk about that show. What? And I have seen the no, Grand no, no. Ole Opry with Minnie Pearl. Okay. Oh, how <laughs> did we get that? Right, yeah, I don't can't. know if those two things relate to one. No, another. no, no. I know what you're talking about. So in uh in in a, it's a wonderful life. Uh, Sam, what is his name? Wayne, uh, what Wainwright always says, hee haw, hee haw. Um, when he's talking, but that has nothing to do, with, nothing the show, to do with the show. It doesn't. No. Cornfield County. No. no, no, no. Oh, I no, always no. thought it was a reference to the show. No. Or, no. I no, no and I don't even know. Long before. Hee-haw. I don't even know how we would explain hee haw because it involves comparing it to another variety no, show okay. that you've never seen. So I don't know. You're at all with the Smothers Brothers. Nope. Uh, laugh in, laugh in. Nope. Carol uh, Burnett. No, <laughs> never. You, you know I that. You. We, there's no way to get to. It. Hang on, hang on. We could do this. <laughs> hang on. There's got to. What's the? There hasn't been a variety show in a long, long Saturday time. Night Live. Saturday Night Live. Okay. okay. But they sing a lot and put them in overalls. Yeah, that's he. Okay. And they tell jokes in right. the cornfield. Right. Yeah. Quick hitters. It's it was the redneck version of right. SNL. Grandpa Jones. Okay. Yeah. Junior samples. 
You ever seen the Smothers String Brothers? Bing. No. Carol Burnett? No. 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 Well, I mean, those shows are over 50 First years old. So. The, the, uh, the Harvey Corman Tim Conway dentist skit is the funniest thing I've ever seen you in my can, life. You can put Harvey and Tim on about anything, and there's a... Uh, there's a one in, I think it's the family where uh, um, Tim is making the sound of an elephant. Oh, and, no, no. He's talking about uh, seeing the uh, the elephant freak show. That's they right. get their yeah. trunks tied together. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, he, Tim was a rascal because he never did the same thing. No, he never. He never followed the script. No, no. His he, whole goal was to make Harvey Corman He would laugh. do something different when they started right. rolling tape, and, and it got Harvey every single time. Yep. Every single time. Yeah, Dorf on golf. Oh, yeah, Dorf. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's get to uh, if we if we have time now. Let's get uh, to DQ's thoughts. Oh on, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on uh, what's going on? Taylor Swift new album, uh, possibly dissing Kadarius Tony. Yeah, in one of the songs. I saw what is up with that. I saw. I don't know why she said something about releasing the um the walk ons or the rookies or something. Wow. I don't know that song was so. Okay, so there are two songs. Uh huh. That are directly about Travis Kelsey. Whoa. They're wow. very good like or bad. Oh, they're good. Okay. They're very like um like schoolgirl crush type songs. Oh, um, <laughs> but they are good. <laughs> the rest of the album is insanely depressing. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, now I'm intrigued. Perfect so last for night, fans. Right. Last Great. night, um, it was eleven PM and I still wasn't home. So I when I got home Where were you? I was at the concert. I got home. And I immediately listened to the first 16 songs that were released at midnight or at 11 our time. And as I finished up the album, I knew that something was going to happen at 2 a.m., 1 a.m. our time. But I was really tired. How did you know? Because all week, like Taylor Nation and all of the people around her have been holding up this like two. Like in all of their posts, uh... they've been putting the two. <laughs> and they did this a very similar thing with midnights with 3 a.m. Okay. They kept dropping hints of 3 a.m. But I was too tired. So I went to bed. Why can't they do this at noon? I don't know. I wish their audience would. isn't old people like us. That's why. But so I woke up this morning and there were 15 more songs added Whoa. to the album. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really good. Um, and, and would you unlike those creeps with you two. They didn't force us all to, to get the album oh, on our phone. Like now, they if it sucked, you would still say it's good, right? I no, because there are songs on it that I am not a huge fan of right now. Uh, Derek and Fayetteville, he his wife thinks it's hideous due to the amount of f bombs. Oh, she I cursing? don't think I don't think there are that many. She's in her sailor phase, <laughs> her I don't, sailor era. Yeah, there aren't that. It's not. It's not that bad. Um. So well, you work here, so you may be de obviously Joe Alwyn catches a lot of bullets. In now, this, he's the guy in this that, album. Uh, that she dumped and the was living on her years. couch. Well, right, okay. it sounded like she wanted to get married. He didn't from the understanding. Whoa. Joe, my man. She wanted to get married. He didn't. It sounds like he hated her, their entire relationship, because you uh -huh. have to think they were in the relationship when she wrote some of these songs. Um, Maddie yeah. Healy gets some songs. Uh huh. That was a fling, right? It was a fling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was the first fling after a really long relationship, so you figured he would get some songs. We yeah. have a name for that. Yeah, PDHP. Uh, Kim Kardashian catches a stray. Why? Right, yeah. Well, because she was directly involved with that whole Kanye thing, and okay. she said she wrote she wrote this song called "Thank You, Amy," but in that in that song title. Um, K I M is capitalized. Whoa. So you didn't, okay. those letters did not need to be capitalized for you to know that that was about Kim Kardashian, though. It wow. was obvious, but wow. um, talked about in that song specifically how she thought that whole situation back in 2017 ruined her life, but in reality, it was like the start of what her career is now. That's exactly right. That's why it's called Thank You, Amy, because it's like, F you, Amy, but then at the end it says thank you, Amy. Mm. It's it's so good. It's it's not going to be my favorite album. There's already an album, you know, up there for me. But I I'm not going to lie. I've I've never heard. I've never. She's never written songs like this. Ooh. Like she's never 
described heartbreak quite like this album. She's in her Alanis Morris set. She's oh yeah, yeah. This is she yeah. She's hasn't she's never written like this before. Okay, and it's so, good, guys. If your significant other listens to Taylor Swift and you start hearing these songs, she's in her Alanis Morissette phase. Yeah. Go the other way. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to end well for you. There are Lilith Fair. I <laughs> I've listened to each song probably three or four times now. Is that what you've been doing all day? Yes. Okay. Well, I have been. Oh, sorry. I have words that she uh, used in the songs. Okay. Okay. Words. Esoteric. What rhymes with esoteric? Rhyme um, I I didn't write down what the okay, line I'd like was. To, what rhymes with esoteric? I'd, I'd like to know. Um, precocious. Precocious. Oh, yeah. Another good. word that's very Super tough. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Riv, rivulet. A small stream. Wow. Riv- Cinephile. Oh wow. Cinephile. Transfixed. Wow. wow. And temperous. Wow. Somebody found a thesaurus. This is good. Yeah. yeah I like this. She. Expanding that the wasn't, use of That the wasn't language. even like the song, or that wasn't even the words that she already uses kind of often that are like way up there. But huh. it's a good album. So you're saying it's better written than turned down for what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just, okay. this, is that, to me, that's the standard. <laughs> I think there's like eight words in that song. Turned down for what? Four. All right. We'll be back with more Ruskin and Zach coming up here on ESP in Arkansas. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The Lotto Jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try Lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for Problem Gambling Helpline. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. I like to be active and as you get older, I know it because I am older, you're more prone to injury and I could not get rid of the pain. QC Kinetics patient Diane Richardson talking about how a hiking injury left her in awful pain. No one wants to live in pain. I certainly don't want to live in pain. I don't have time for pain. Diane had heard about regenerative medicine, so she called QC Kinetics and started treatment right away. And the results were incredible. I couldn't believe it. I honestly was skeptical, but the pain went from a 10 to a zero. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in using natural biologics. Healing properties from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. There's no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. The result was phenomenal. I mean, I was not feeling any pain. I'm able to do everything that I want to do. If you have pain from arthritis or injury, this may be the solution you're looking for. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. It was a game changer. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas' 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000. And construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play. From lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit shopcupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. 
You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. When you bundle your renters and auto insurance with Progressive, you could save money, but it doesn't cover any terrible memories living rent-free in your head. Remember when one of your best players got injured, but not like on a play or anything? He got injured celebrating a play, and it's not like it was a game-winning play or in the playoffs, and he was out the rest of the season because he was injured while celebrating? Yeah. Sorry, we can't save you from that memory, but we could save you money bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Coverage from Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Renters insurance and bundle discount not available in all states or situations. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. We work to design an insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter Insurance ranked number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region, five out of the last six years by J.D. Power. Call my friend, J.T. Finley, at 479-521-4220. Or come by and see him in the heart of Fayetteville, off College Avenue. Hi, everyone. Happy Finally Friday. I'm meteorologist Melissa Hall. Temperatures are on the cool side compared to where we have been. We're going to struggle to get into the low 60s by lunchtime, even with that sunshine. That breeze out of the northeast is going to pick up. 5, 10, 15 miles an hour, but guess closer to 20 miles an hour at times. So we'll finish the day in the low 70s across the area, but even cooler weather coming in for our Saturday and the rain returning with it. Highs only getting to the low 60s. With your 4029 Get Ready Weather, I'm meteorologist Melissa Hall. The ESPN 99.5. Giving you the entertainment you deserve. Here's Ruskin and Zach. We're back here on ESPN Arkansas. And they hit that line now out. Happy Friday, one and all. Good Friday out there. A little chilly, but it's not bad. We're in the 60s. It's not chilly. No, it's not talking chilly. About, don't be a wimp. No, no, seriously, you're not, you're not wearing fleece today. No, no, I don't need a parka out there. Stay in the sun. You'll be fine. All right, I got a another a world record story we can get into at some point All here right. if that is uh, something you are uh, interested in. Uh, in the meantime, 866-285-4005. Derek rhymes with esoteric. It does. Thank you, Rick. Okay. okay. We've been Rick rolled thanks to his text. <laughs> Derek. Is- Hyperbaric rhymes with esoteric. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I have a short list in my brain of like crazy rhymes but of course it's not in the folder that i can access right now i would really love to hear you rhyme you know what i mean you know like there have been songs where you're like how they they did what now yeah but i can't come up with them anymore they're all in the back they're not up here in the front frontal lobe Mm -hmm. they're in the uh, back lobe yeah they're they're, they're in a storage unit that's right you can't remember the combination i can't no i can't you gotta uh, you know you know Code's not working and all that stuff. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. Um, what's going on here? Oh, someone had a question for you about the uh, uh, half high back carnivore, uh, uh-huh. a Beatles fan. Yeah, he says he's dove into the uh, the Beatles lately, and his favorite song only has 15 words in it. Oh, well, really? yeah. You know this song? She's so heavy. Yeah. Uh, Abbey Road. Okay. Abbey Great Road, album. Yeah. Great album. Right. They're still recording there, aren't they? Like people are, not the Beatles, obviously, but. Uh, Abbey Road Studios. Yeah, yeah. Abbey Road's still a functioning studio. All right. It's out near Wimbledon now. They they went uh, you know, they went country the, club. The championships Wimbledon. Yeah. There you go. The All England Club. Yeah. All right. I got a. Uh, let's mm. see what this says here. Um, he's writing something with my name in it. And I'm distracted. <laughs> uh, spit some bars to the Humpty Dance. That's Zach's job. I can't do the Humpty. Oh, Dance. I love well, Shock G. Shock G. Yeah. That's all right. Man. Rested power. Shock G. <laughs> Man, what a guy! I got a, uh, I got another world record. This one's a little, I think, a little more interesting than the guy with the mower on his chin. <laughs> okay, a 69-year-old man in Australia visited 120 pubs Ooh. in 24 hours, breaking the Guinness World Record. Congratulations to David Clarkson. Couple of questions. Yeah. Uh, what constitutes a visit 
to a pub. He ordered a drink in every one of them. In a hundred. Yes, he did. Yes. Hang on. Right. Now that's five drinks per hour. Thank you. Yes. And at five dollars, let's say per drink, how much money did my man spend to break a world record? It does not say. Six hundred dollars. It's it's and um, well, is, is this is this a more worthwhile endeavor, a world record than that Jello shot contest in Omaha, where people spend thousands of dollars? Yes, but climb this the was, leaderboard. This was one man doing this. Yes. The Jello shot thing is a group of people. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Great question from Jamie. Did he drink all of them? Yeah. And what was what was he ordering? Like if he's ordering a shot, uh, you have, I mean, you you'd be on the floor in an hour. Yeah. You went in and ordered, you know. A water that's totally different. David Clarkson has lived in Australia for over 40 years, started his attempt with a drink at the Captain Cook Hotel in Sydney. He then walked to 119 more establishments over the next 24 hours, what ordering kind of a, a drink town at each stop. Has 120 bars within walking distance. Sydney, man. That's Sydney. a good question. That's, that's hard to town. do. And what's yeah. open at four o'clock in the morning? What's not open at four o'clock? See, you're you're thinking of our uh puritanical laws here in the south where you know the sidewalks roll up at the quarter to uh -huh. nine sydney's an actual you know major city stuff to well, do on all hours of the day uh, okay night. but i mean you could try you could attempt that here yeah but i i know you know what i'm not buying this there's no way he made it past five drinks an hour it's certified by the guinness book of world records sir so, i'm sorry uh, is the key phrase in that word guinness yes okay they they certified it, so it's got to be that. If we can't believe in the sanctity of the Book of World right. Records, what can we I, believe? Well, in? That not a whole lot. Uh, Jake and Harrison has a text in. Hi guys, Jake from Harrison. Y'all are the best radio show in Arkansas. You guys make my day. Y'all make me laugh so hard. Jake, seek help. Jake, you're better than this. Don't tell our bosses, yeah, Jake. Yeah, Jake. They, don't, get very they, they get very mad when you praise us. They get very mad when we succeed. All right. So that's yeah, not. They, they want to keep us that's right. under the rock and under the thumb. Every, right. Keep them under the thumb. It, just don't spread the word if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. The worst thing that could happen <laughs> is us go mainstream because then we will right. we'll sell outs. Yeah. Right now, we still got that like rene renegade ragtag <laughs> bunch of misfits uh, Jake, brand. How much, that is, we uh, how much has, has working here ruined your reputation? Um. I've only met someone like I've only met one person who mm -hmm. whenever I told them where I worked, he went, oh, <laughs> you, he did not like you guys. OK, that's good. We probably wouldn't that's, like what him we, that's what we thrive on. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. We can't be established. Is it someone we know? Yes. Really? Yes. You're going to have to write down oh, I a think text I know. Is the name. I got to know who it is. I, I'll take her camera off. So, she yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we want to launch it. Not on your first day. Yeah, that, that would be terrible. Uh, the Australians apparently love this record because this mm -hmm. guy, uh, David Clarkson, he broke the record of Australians Harry Kuros and Jake oh, yeah. Loiterton. They visited 99 pubs in 24 hours. Mm. Not okay. 99 Luft balloons, 99 pubs. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a miserable time here. He was uh, he was tortured. Yeah. By Zach. What? Well, you were. He was. You were not nice to that person. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, Mongo, no, it's not Chuck. <laughs> no, 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 it's not Chuck. <laughs> I think Chuck secretly enjoyed the Z impressions yesterday. He was really tickled by those. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think he liked them. Okay. All right. He didn't have to come because he, he brought them back up. He did. And you he know, wanted you to do more. Yeah, he was like, dance, <laughs> puppy, dance. Yeah. Yeah. I, he does not like our impression of him. No, he does not but like But he that. likes the impression of other people. That's right. That's what I, that's what I took away there. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> like, do it again. Like, do it again, Zach. That was funny. I don't know, Chuck. <laughs> Yeah, Chuck had a good time yesterday. Yeah, he did. Pretty hey, good. You know, he laughs. And yeah. I always send him a text afterwards. You know, thanks. Thanks for coming on. He just always gives me the big thumbs up. So I don't think he's upset with us in any way. No, I don't think so either. No, no. But um, he is. Uh, he's, we're, we're grateful that he comes on every week well, because he certainly could say no. Right. Shout out he to could the Benton. Veto. Shout out to the Benton County Circuit Court. That's right. <laughs> yes. Thank you for their uh, support yeah. with the uh, legal process and uh, all that stuff. So, yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, yeah, but he had a good time yesterday. I think I finally figured it out. We have to start it with, we got to get him laughing early. Right, 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 right. You and gotta, then it eases into right. it. If we start with a formal, hello, how are you? It, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. We got to get into the, get to the funny early. Right. That's you, the key. You got you to gotta hit him. You got to hit him in the solar plexus right. a couple of times. Like we, we fumbled around on that. How do we introduce your thing? That was a good, you know, lighthearted way to kind of mm-hmm. to break the tension a little. Not tension, but you know what I mean. You know, just the, break the ice. Yeah, yeah, break the ice. We haven't, t- we haven't seen you in a week. Yeah, you that's know right. what's been going on. Yeah. A little chunk on the shoulder, a little yeah, back slap. Right. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. Did Ty lose his voice today? Yeah. Ty was he screaming uh, the the Taylor Swift lyrics at the top of his no, lungs? Is that from, what happened? From or? what I understand, and and Ty and I had a brief conversation this afternoon. He was out last night. Um, would smoked a half a pack of something. Oh, and uh, and lost his uh, lost his voice. Yeah, I thought the cigarettes were supposed to make your voice better. DQ. I don't think so. Did you vape last night? No. Liar. I didn't. It's your Twenty third birthday. Of course you did. What time of day were you born? Six. 54 a.m. Oh, I was a, I was to... a lunchtime baby. Yeah, th- that's perfect. Yeah, you know, lunchtime. I mean, like like a lunchtime baby. 60. That's way too early. That means your mom was up all night. Well, yeah. my mom was in labor for like three days. Oh, hold up. She was. It took a while. Oh, huh. So you were a pain in the ass back then, too. I was. OK. Wow. Three Inter- days. I don't know if it was in. that long, but it was it was probably two or three at some point you just call the ball and, and eventually you know, like, they called it off and they said c-section in. yeah oh yeah 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 i think i was like 11 30 in the morning or something like yeah that. that's the way you do it at lunch that's usually time. when i eat yeah. lunch too right so, that's a lunch time you know 40 some odd years later so that's amazing cool. right yeah Weird. some things never change no, no right no. yeah um <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny <sighs> text yeah <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Isaac in Mount Ida is Missouri out recruiting Calipari. Isaac, that's far too many sports for a Friday. Come on now. Now Missouri got a five star from Duke. Who did uh, today? Filipowski. Uh, kid last name was Mitchell, former five star. Oh, yeah. Apparently, like Duke is having a mass exodus right now. Seven players have left. Uh, well, well, Shire can't coach. Okay, he can't do it. I mean, not at the level that they're accustomed to there. He could be a fine, you know, mid-major. They got to the Sweet somewhere. Sixteen. I mean, that, that's you know, that's a successful season. He's a fine coach. He's not a Final Four coach. He's muscle man. He's fine. He's never going to get you where He's you want to go. Also, the guy who followed the guy, not the job you, not want. the job you want, right? Not the job you want. You want to be the next person. Bar's a little bit lower. Easier to clear. <laughs> like high jump, right. Fosbury <laughs> flop, right. all that stuff. You know about that? Did Kinsey do the uh, high jump for a minute? Uh, yeah, before she's, settling she's, on discus. She's, she's, well, no, she's she's doing the triple jump. Oh, now, triple jump. There's okay. no obstacles. Um, no, just the sandbox. Just the sandbox. And she got mad the other day. Oh, she, she apparently. We have not had an incident with her in quite some time. It's uh, good when it comes to uh, like her getting tossed out of things. We haven't had an incident in a while. She got thrown. She got disqualified uh, from the track meet because she argued with the official who said she kept foot faulting, and. I guess she had put her phone down next to the uh, next to the 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 because she I guess you get like two and then you then you're disqualified. Well, they foot faulted her on the third one. Well, she put her phone down and like had the video of it and kept showing it to him. She's like, "I didn't do it. I didn't do it." Then she goes, "What are you blind?" <laughs> and, and they <laughs> they tossed her. So getting <laughs> chucked from a track meet. Yeah, that that's a first. That's uh, that's that's a that's new territory there. All right, we'll be back here on ESPN Trophy Arkansas. Hawk with a uh, scouting report on the Mitchell kid from Duke. Can't shoot outside of five feet. Hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, well, he, he's not coming here, so that's he did have report. a part of a Razorback. Well, that's also true. Has a heart of a tiger. That's apparently. right. I have a tiger. Joy Viviano and United Roofing and Waterproofing bring you the Ruskin and Zach podcast every day. Commercial, residential, industrial roofs. Joey's team works on them all. Go to unitedrw.com and schedule your free consultation or call Joey at 479-312-7369. 312-7369, United Roofing and Waterproofing.
This is Yuna Lee in the 4029 newsroom with the top headlines. It's still early, but the pieces are starting to come together for Arkansas's new head basketball coach, John Calipari. The U of A announcing the hiring of associate head coach Kenny Payne. Payne is from the Calipari coaching tree, working together in Kentucky for 10 years before he got his own head coaching gig with Louisville. He's known to be one of the country's best recruiters. AAA says gas prices are going up in Arkansas. Prices have risen to what they were this time, same last year. The statewide average is $3.24 a gallon. That's up a nickel from last week, still lower than the national average of $3.67. Oklahoma will pause to remember the Oklahoma City bombing. 29 years ago, the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building was bombed, killing 168 people. Ceremony will be held outside today at the Oklahoma City National Memorial and Museum. That's what's making headlines. I'm Yuna Lee. Hey, Hog fans. This is Matt. This is Elizabeth. And this is the reigning champion of my own conference, Robert. You do realize that's not a thing. Well, I did receive a plaque commemorating that accomplishment. Yeah, and I was elected the president of Mars. Anyway, Hog fans, it's that time again. It's, it's baseball, baseball season. season. And Hog fans, the stadium shop has everything you need for Razorback baseball. From t-shirts, sweatshirts, man cave stuff, and even a Razorback original, the bases loaded beer hats. Plus, ladies, as well as a restocked women's section, we have the bases loaded beer stein boppers. Yeah, it's kind of like those old-time space alien antennas, you know. Yeah, well, not really. So when you're in Fayetteville, stop by the store at 989 South Razorback Road, next door to Bomb Walker Stadium, or you can shop us on them WW interweb face cream that you get. It, Matt. Dad, do you mean the website? Yeah. Which is shoponrazorback.com. That's shoponrazorback.com. Or call us at 479 Stadium. That's 479 782 3486. As always, go, go Hogs. Swift's Jewelry specializes in bridal sets, custom jewelry, and repairs. All work is done on site by their professional, courteous team. Swift's Jewelry can engrave anything, including watches, knives, flasks, wedding bands, and more. And for the hog fan of your life, they have officially licensed Razorback jewelry. Get her something she'll love wearing to the big game. Swift's makes your purchase easy with 0% financing for 18 months. That's low payments with no interest for a year and a half. Swift's Jewelry on the square in Fayetteville next to Hugo's. Your personal jeweler since 1956. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, one block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, 479-443-0000. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Testosterone levels naturally drop in men with age, often causing a lack of energy, anxiety, weight gain, diminished libido, and performance issues. Don't suffer in silence. Call Maverick Male Medical in Fayetteville today for more about testosterone or weight loss therapy. They focus on your excellent care, optimal health, and performance. Call Maverick Male Medical today at 305-8206. That's 305-8206. Or go to Maverick Male Medical. Dot com. 
KAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right, we continue here on ESPN Arkansas. The Hit That Line Now app. Ruskin and Zach, uh, DQ has uh, given her uh, thoughts on the... Uh, Dead poets, uh, tortured poets, departments, department What's of it poetry. Called? I don't know. Okay. Something. The tortured poets department. Okay. Uh, we can update. That. There was some, uh, there was a little bit of um, uh, angst over whether or not they're going to play baseball tonight. The weather's clear in Columbia, South Carolina. We're good to go there. Now, right. Sunday, you know, we'll see. 70% chance it's of It's tarp ready. Yeah. DQ, I, we probably knew this, but we just are reminded of this every year. DQ shares a birthday with the one and only Bill Raftery. Yes, she does. Onions! Also, uh, not only did Taylor Swift release an album, Pearl Jam apparently did. Whoa, yeah. really? That's like daddy-daughter day. Oh, man. They're both in their corner of the house with the earbuds oh, yeah. in listening to music. You're listening to Eddie moan about stuff, and uh, the nobody daughter's knows. listening. Nobody, nobody has any idea what he says. Where are my baby be? I love him. He was the last one. You left. had last kiss. I know it wasn't, it wasn't a great one. That's I mean, clearly like, I remember. Like, you think you're getting on the bar? You think Pearl Jam? That's what you come up with? I'm sorry. Oh, my baby. Be. He's the last one left. Well, him and Dave Grohl. Yeah, they're all gone. Yeah, freaking heroin. I hate that stuff, man. Took all the good ones. Pearl Jam's good band. I mean, they're solid. I like Pearl Jam. Yeah, I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, yeah. Quentin out of the 870 uh, shares a birthday with DQ. Way to go, Quentin. And, and has for some years now. How about that? Yeah, yeah. well, every year. Uh, same. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, DQ also shares a birthday with Joanna Gaines. Okay, from... Uh, from oh, uh, I did know that, yeah. And uh, Suge Knight, the guy who held vanilla ice out the hotel window and threatened you know, to one drop out of, One out of two ain't bad. <laughs> And also, uh, one of your favorites, and Clay's, uh, Ashley Judd, also has a birthday today. Well, there you go. There's some celebrity birthdays. Clay Clay does love him some Ashley Judd, doesn't he? Yeah. That was a a time, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. uh, But, yeah, Bill Raftery. That's pretty good. Ashley Judd is old. She has gotten old. She is not what she once was. Clay? She's uh, 56. Okay. Send those cards and letters to Clay Henry, <laughs> care of the newsroom. <laughs> and uh, we will make sure that they get uh-huh. into the proper hands. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, all right. Uh, what do we got going on? We got, to, like you said, uh, they're uh, they're going to play, play in Columbia tonight. tonight. They're yep. going to get that going. Uh, Arkansas has got uh, Kenny Payne uh, in to help uh, Calipari as a uh, assistant head coach. And, uh, Things are uh, things are moving. And things are happening yeah. here. It's it's been a not uh, a lot of stuff on the football portal uh, side, right? Mm-hmm. Not a lot of going on there. Right? Uh, no, no, it's actually been really quiet. But I think we do need to congratulate Max Fletcher on winning the Ray Guy Award uh, because he will transfer, go to a school, and immediately win the award as the best punter in the nation. No, no. question. Uh, DQ Abner wants to know if you're going to be wearing your sash later on today. We should have gotten you a little tiara or something to go with it. Oh, that would have been cute. Wouldn't that that have been great? Another uh, uh, item today, mm. um, the uh, uh, FedEx is uh, open for business in the NIL world with uh, the University of Memphis, apparently. $25 million yes. in NIL for, uh, for various sports. So Memphis trying to uh, get in the game here. Well, they're going to try. I don't yeah. know how much $5 million is going to get you. but uh, So if, if we have the chicken man, does Memphis have the box man? 
Because, you know, FedEx boxes, is that uh, now, how that works? Hear me out. The on plane this. man. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. listen. All right. Now, if I am the University of Memphis and yes. I am getting FedEx money as part of my NIL deal. Right. Yes. I would think that if you're going to do this, this kind of gamesmanship on your, on social media, the, what you're putting up is a picture of Wilson, right? <laughs> we got him over yeah. There. I mean, you're putting <laughs> Wilson on uh, any uh, Wilson DQ. You know, you get the reference from Castaway. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Wilson, right here, if you're uh, watching on TV. Will Wilson's on our basketball. Um, I would think if you're going to commit to the University of uh, Memphis, this is what you put on uh, on 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 your social media. It's a picture of Wilson, right? I mean, th- think this through. Maybe they'll have a, a giant Wilson walking around as a mascot, you know, at yeah, the tailgate parties absolutely. and stuff, you know, doing lean pictures. into it. Doing pictures for the gram. Right, just, just lean into it. Although, you know, it. that movie is based on a FedEx flight that crashed. So they may not want yeah, to but necessarily. It wasn't, it wasn't the fault of FedEx. Well, it was weather related, right? right. Well, it was. Uh, there was a, a an explosion among in the cargo. Okay. Well, I mean, still, it, it's a FedEx plane that went down. Maybe they don't exactly want to. Uh, yeah, but Wilson, people of Wilson that. had nothing to do with it. Wilson was just a volleyball. <laughs> That's right. With a bloody handprint. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I guess you call him the package man at uh, you know Fred Fred Smith started FedEx in Little Rock, by the way, mm-hmm. and they let it get away. Not a great move, Little Rock. Nope. nope Not nope. a great move. And maybe I don't know the whole story there, but uh, I don't know. Here's the text. I lived in Memphis for four years. It sucks. Yeah. Um, there's a reason the SEC hasn't had any events <laughs> in Memphis in quite some time because it sucks. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, That's it. Just uh, not like I've a, been to the Liberty Bowl. It's not a prize. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know really. what you're going to do with, um, I mean, like that would be cute to put Wilson on there. I don't know what Arkansas does with a chicken. Well, they could have like a chicken, like a walking around, like a mascot or something. I don't know. Everybody throws nuggets on the field when uh, somebody well, I mean, scores you have a to touchdown. Play the chicken dance, right? Well, they they already do it. Uh, okay, well, you got to do that. It's taken on a new meaning at baseball because they play it in the sixth inning. Oh, okay. Right. And uh, it's taken on a new meaning since uh, the chicken man has decided to uh, you know, reach into his pocket generously for the uh, for the NIL situation. Or as many Razorback fans are saying, oh, better him than me. Now that's, I don't have that, to give. Well, that's right. exactly right. right. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. Right. Give me that hat. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Thunder Chickens, that makes it takes a new meaning, too. There. Yeah. Or are they the growling chickens now? I think they're I, the growling chickens. I don't know. I have one of those hats. I like you it. You do? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, got, uh, I got my new one, and I got some, uh, some gear from them. So we're, yeah. we're good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling good. I got my. I'm repping the old uh, Arkansas River Blades in my uh, on my shirt today. The uh, defunct ECHL team that played in North Little Rock for a couple of my years. Brother-in-law repped in the ECHL. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe they ever work a game in North Little Rock. I don't know. This was like 25 years ask? ago. Well, well, no, that would have been when he was in the uh, when he was actually in the uh, in, in the ECHL. You don't have to ask. It's yeah. fine. You know what? Now I'm curious. Well, now it's not is. like he's doing anything. He's retired. Oh, okay. Well. As long as we're not interrupting anything. He's probably not interrupting nap. He's probably I mean. sitting on his boat sunning himself. He's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. It's a cold day on the lake. No, he's in <laughs> Minnesota, so yeah, it might be. It might be a cold day on the lake. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, you know, that's a synopsis of uh, what's going on. We got more uh, play-in tournament stuff tonight. Um, the uh, NHL starts tomorrow with the uh, playoffs. The NBA playoffs are tomorrow, too. There's a lot of stuff. We got college baseball with the... Uh, South Carolina, A and M, and Alabama played two today because they got yeah, well, weathered out I yesterday. Checked, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Bama was up five nothing on the number one team in the country. Yeah, how about that? How about the Crimson Tide, man? Maybe they're for real. You know, Saban quits, and all of a sudden they're a basketball and a uh, baseball. That's team. right. Yeah, that's right. Because it ain't gonna be a football school. He was holding them down. Yeah, he really was. A and M ended up winning that game ten to five. All right, I take back what I just said. <laughs> all of it. But they're going to play again here in a little bit, game two. And, uh, of course, uh, we know about Arkansas and uh, South Carolina tonight on um, at, uh, here on many of these stations at 6 p.m., 5.30 for the yep. uh, pregame coverage with Phil out there at Founders Park in Columbia. So we'll go check on all that stuff. Arkansas has had these guys' number for quite some time, so maybe they'll keep that going. Uh, and Wasn't South Carolina this the again. game where they were, uh, they were making fun of Robert Moore? Was Didn't it? they go to South Carolina like two years ago? Yeah, yeah I remember that. And he hit like they, they were calling him like, like an Oompa Loompa or something. Yeah, he, he bat flipped okay. or something. Yeah, 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 ye
Who had that on their bingo Ginkgo card? Ginkgo Biloba. Yeah, Must baby. have been that gas station pizza you had a couple hours ago. It's kicking in now. Uh, <laughs> your dad's texting, happy birthday, DQ. It doesn't go downhill until the 50s. That's what he thinks. Yeah. Well, he see, also kept in pretty good shape until his 50s. You know, he was a referee, so he, he just ran let out. himself go. He ran every day. Then he let himself go. Well, more or less. Yeah, right. yeah, something like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see here. Yeah, but South Carolina, yeah, they were making fun uh, He of did Little do Rock a game in, in Little Rock. My sister got uh, got drunk in a bar in Little Rock. Fantastic. Yeah. I went there once. They played... Um, Arkansas was playing Ole Miss in football. And they put the game on the video board. And then when the football game was over, they started the hockey game. And we sat, uh, like, on the boards. Oh, it's the best. It's the only place to watch a hockey oh, game. Oh, it's fun. And I almost got hit with a puck and warm-ups. Fine. And some kid came down wanting the puck and offered me, like, Pokemon cards for it. And I'm I would like, have taken the cards, man. <laughs> if I'd have known now what I what yeah, I Yeah, I would have taken the, the value cards. of those things. Yeah, absolutely. So that was a missed uh, investment opportunity for me back in the... Uh, <laughs> back in the day i guess yeah yeah it just sounds better when you're uh down there on a you know on the ice level Well, you can hear what's going on and you realize yeah. how fast those guys are actually moving yeah best athletes in the world man it's the hardest game in the world and the championship chase begins tomorrow yeah you're excited about this oh yeah yeah well the devils aren't in it no so, so i have no interest in it i, I will be watching uh, my new york knicks tomorrow uh, they play. Uh, they play tomorrow. They're, yeah, they're at uh, five tomorrow. I think. Yeah, and then the Rangers play yes. Sunday yep. in the Garden. Yeah, that's yeah. about the Rangers. Yeah. Uh, former Razorback Anthony Black and the Orlando Magic started uh, Saturday yeah, at how noon. How about that? How, in how, Cleveland, how taking about, on the like, Cavaliers. Orlando was one of the worst teams in the league for almost yeah. a decade. They, and they then what? Land, they get Ben Carroll. Yeah. They get a couple guys. And they got uh, Suggs and uh, the the Bogners, Both of them. Oh on, yeah, and on they got front. Anthony Black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. They're a fun little team to watch. They can't shoot a lick, but they're uh, they're a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, here's a text on the McCarty you know, Hotline. Were you at the Mississippi game when Matt Jones's friend went streaking? Yes, I was. I was in the student section for that. I do remember that. And uh, I just remember um, we were like, you know, the game's going on, minding our own business. And then all of a sudden, the guy next to me starts pointing and laughing, going, look at that, look at that. <laughs> There's a guy in a thong on the field. Yeah. <laughs> And, of course, uh, as legend goes, they draped him in Chancellor White's trench coat to take him off the field <laughs> and take him to the Hooskow. So, uh, that's Was there a, a jail back then? In that oh, race? I'm sure it, it had to do. Okay. That's when they had those those uh, crappy bleachers in the north end in front of the Broyles Center. So it was, like, real easy to get on the field back then. I mean, it was not. I mean, you had to go under one of those one of those triangle, like, pennant mm -hmm. strings. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. And you're, and you're out there. That's it. That was the only thing. Um. Yeah, I remember that game. I was there. Yeah, that guy had quite the star turn for a minute. He was on all the TV shows on campus. He was doing a good. <laughs> yeah, he was doing. He was doing the car wash. Yeah, he did the yeah. he did the UATV car wash yeah. after that. That's and he correct. did radio and TV. <laughs> well, we weren't allowed to do sports radio. The uh, the music snobs wouldn't let you do a really? show. Really? Oh no, no, oh, no. Yeah, you got in the way of uh, playing their independent rock, so they wouldn't have any of that. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. can't. You can't have that stuff. Uh, we've got Greg and Farmington on the phone here oh, on okay. the McCarty Daniel Hotline. Hi, Greg. Hey, guys. Long time no talk. Uh, hey, what's really fun, not being on the board is a blast, but imagine being the PA announcer and your PA boxes between the penalty boxes and the benches. Yeah. And, and when you get a player from each team in there and they're talking their smack bad enough that it'd make a sailor blush you know you're having a good time yeah yeah get here, get double yeah, fighting good. penalty in there on either side of you oh, but yeah. here's the thing about hockey hockey uh trash talk is very very different than other forms of chirping they call it uh, chirping. yeah it's very very different um my nephews all play hockey and you hear things from from the crowd directed at referees you know where i'm going with this um there was one guy during one of my nephew's games who told the uh, the referee who did, he did not like that particular day that he bleeps moose. That's right. Yes. And the entire crowd started laughing, and then the, the chant started, ref bleeps moose. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, ref yeah, yeah. bleeps yeah. moose. Yeah. And um, so it's a totally different It's totally different thing. It's it's They do it with a smile. Hockey though. parents, man. Oh, they're the worst. Something, something else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I did the PA announcing for the Arkansas Club Hockey team. 
Right. And we play our games though, and we play our games over at the Jones Center. And so my and square in there. booth is right between the benches. Yes, it is. Yep. So we got we got the benches, we got the penalty boxes. And, oh, man, especially when it's us against one of the Missouri teams, which is like our worst enemies when it comes to hockey. Oh, good times shall be had by all. <laughs> nice. So that's the rivalry. Huh? So there is a borderline rivalry. It's just in, in club hockey. It's not in uh, football or basketball. How about that? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to, you guys were talking about hockey and being on the board. So let me tell you, when that place is packed on Friday night, Ooh, boy, we we having parties now, boy. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Greg. Greg and Farmington with us here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline on Ruskin and Zach. Yeah, good time, man. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, someone telling us we should watch something called Shorzy on Hulu. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I the quintessential hockey uh, production is a still slap shot. After all these years, it's, I mean, Paul Newman. Well, Mighty that Ducks. or Mighty Ducks are, is the, are the best hockey quack, movies. Quack, quack, Mr. Ducksworth. I, I'm partial to Slapshot. I like Slap. Slapshot. I grew great. up on Mighty Ducks, yeah. though. I mean, that was one of those movies that we got. And, you know, Ogie we, Oglethorpe. Yes. Uh, Doc, Tim, Dr. Hook, <laughs> McCracken. Yeah. So the, these are the, the these are the heroes of my uh, my youth. Is is this country's deportation to Canada and that country's refusal to accept him. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> The, the Federal League in penalty <laughs> minutes, 1977 to 1979 oh, concurrent. All you have to do is say Federal League, and if anybody's watching the movie, they just start laughing. That's right. Uh, good seats are still available at the War Memorial. <laughs> Bring the family on. Uh, God, what a great movie. I think that went very well. All right, uh, we'll uh, pause here, and, uh, you know, uh, we're talking about hockey. We're talking about basketball. We're talking about all this stuff. You know where you can uh, get in on all this stuff? The Bet Saracen app. That's right. That Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports betting app. It's also Ruskin and Zach's favorite sports betting Woo! app. We love it. And it's all on there. Baseball, basketball, hockey. It's all on there on the Bet Saracen app. You know, Vegas odds, that's that's nice. But you have to be there to legally bet those odds. And Arkansas law prevents the big national apps from operating in our state. So for the most accurate and up-to-date sports wagering info, you need to get on the Bet Saracen app. Just go to the App Store and download Bet Saracen or go to Bet Saracen. Dot com app store bet saracen or bet saracen.com join the local conversation on the mclarty daniel hotline 866-285-4005 mclarty daniel a vehicle for every lifestyle Hey there, business ballers and entrepreneurs. Ready to make your financial dreams come true? Well, get ready to score big with SwishFunding.com, the slam dunk solution for all your business funding needs. Just like that satisfying swish when the ball goes in, SwishFunding.com guarantees you a seamless funding experience. Working capital, expanding your business, upgrading your equipment, or even covering payroll. If you have at least $25,000 in monthly revenue and been in business for at least one year, qualifying is easier than a layup. At Swish Funding, we fund up to $5 million in 24 hours. SwishFunding.com's team will guide you every step of the way. No more banking red tape. Just quick, decisive action to get you back in the game. Head over to SwishFunding.com and slam dunk your financial goals today. Remember, it's not just a shot in the dark. It's a surefire swish. Go to SwishFunding.com. That's S-W-I-S-H Funding.com. SwishFunding.com. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free. With zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit. 
H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. How do I drive more traffic to my website? How do I increase my Google rankings? If these are just a few of the questions you have for your business, then we should talk. In addition to sports radio marketing, ESPN Arkansas can help your business be found online. From website design to geo-targeted campaigns, search engine marketing, social media management, streaming video campaigns, and much more. ESPN Arkansas is your digital marketing partner. Go to ESPNArkansasDigital.com for your free digital marketing audit or email us at sales at hitthatline.com to schedule an appointment. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spas' 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000. And construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Lindsay and Associates are celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business and are the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. With over 200 professionally trained agents and three convenient locations in Fayetteville, Rogers, and Bentonville, Lindsay and Associates is a winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lunch today. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866 285 4005. Live across Arkansas, this is Ruskin and Zach. This is brought to you by the good chair because I had to have a place to sit. Get the good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by, tell Robert and Joe Bonamassa sucks. <laughs> you want to see the good chair. Baseball team, they're on the road this weekend. Three games set in Columbia, South Carolina, taking on the 20th ranked Gamecocks. The game, the Razorbacks, 32 and 5 on the year, 3 and 3 in true road games. South Carolina is 26 and 11 overall. They are 18 and 4 in Columbia. 
First pitch tonight is 6 p.m. We're on the air at 5.30 with the Dugout Show. You can hear the game on selected ESPN Arkansas stations as well as hitthatline.com and the Hit That Line app. May your Arkansas. station be selected. Yes. Sure. Arkansas coach John Calipari has Kenny Payne on staff, the former Louisville head coach. He was fired by Louisville last month. will serve as the associate head coach uh, to John Calipari. The Ruskin mm-hmm. and Zach X polls brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479. 479- 225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. When your mm. low fuel light comes on, at how many miles to go would you be considered irresponsible? 63.2% of you said 10 miles to go. Yeah. Is health insurance so expensive now that snitches get Band-Aids? 93.3% of you said yes. <laughs> DQ is 23 years of age today. Using her math, how old is she? 20, 23, or 25? The correct answer is 25. Using her math. 35.5% of you said 25. 44.1% of you apparently sucking up and said 20. Well, it is her birthday. All right. Tomorrow she'll be 25. So those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479 225 8809 for all of your heat and air needs. There we go. Got it? Yeah, Good. yeah. I had a little hiccup there. Uh, just a uh, update on the, uh, on the leaderboard on career strikeouts. So Hagen Smith at Arkansas. Goes into tonight at 288. He's 14 from passing Matt Carnes for number two. Right. And Nick Schmidt, 345 is the uh, so, all-time so he's not record getting holder. it tonight. No, he's, he could get uh, he could get two tonight. He could get 14 in a game. That's mm-hmm. not out of the realm of possibility. He got 17 earlier this year. Um, but uh, Nick Schmidt's still very much in play. Uh, didn't have a high by his standards, strikeout game last week against Alabama, but got the job done nonetheless against the Tide, who might be figuring a few things out. And by well, getting the job the- done, he only had six strikeouts last week. How dare him? <laughs> like, I mean, really? Fail. <laughs> That's right. Alabama got beat 10-5 to 5 today after leading 5 nothing. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they haven't. a and the number out. one team in the country for a reason. Yeah, uh, they are. They're, they're good. They are. Uh, I guess they're now half a game behind Arkansas in the West standings. Is that right? Is that how uh, that, that works? That is correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Arkansas has got to, uh, at the, uh, Arkansas could be tied for first, and they only have to keep their one game lead. They got to win tonight mm-hmm. against South Carolina if you're looking at the division. And there's five weeks left in the regular season. So why not start looking at the division? It's now? so why crazy. Not? Like we were looking at this. Ty and I were talking about this earlier today about like scheduling. And, you know, there's only, you know, like you said, there's like five weekends left. There's like 20 games. Something like that left in the season. That's it's crazy. regular season. Yeah. It's cra- it has flown by. There is 19 regular season games left, I believe. They're, so it's tonight's game 38, and they play 56. So there's 18 games left. Counting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Great. And uh, let's see. There's some. Um, you know, they go to North Little Rock on Tuesday, and they're back up here next weekend with Florida, Missouri State for two. And then uh, back on the road. So there's yeah. uh in Northwest think, Arkansas, it, there's four. Isn't five, the Missouri State uh, series the last of the uh, the midweek games? Yes, it is. Okay. That's right. Then, that's right. Yes. Yay. Then the next time we're preempted <laughs> is for the playoffs, right. and, uh, which is fine. Yeah. Which is which is perfectly fine. Yeah. We like that. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, what they got going on tonight. It, it would be their best start uh, ever in league play. They've only started twelve and three three times since they joined the SEC in conference play. The first year, 92. And then, uh, well, no, no, that's not right. It's the third time since 92 that they've done it. I can't uh, read the thing. Here. It's it's, it's okay. It's, it's 99 Friday, and 2010 were the other times. Fine. 99 and 2010. So Norm did it once and Dave did it once. Yeah. Also, this is the winningest program in college baseball since 2017. Did you know that? I did not know that. that. Yeah, How about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Already in the second game in uh, in uh, Tuscaloosa, it's three nothing A and M in the second, in their second game of the day mm-hmm. there. So A and M need A and M to stub their toe. Like, the, I'm, well, I they're say hot. That. I mean, they're it's Texas A and M. They'll figure it out. I mean, they'll, they will yeah, find a way to shoot their toe off. Yeah, they uh, they're hot right now. They are. Uh, they're now twelve and four. And could be thirteen and four by the time a business uh, ends. Say they won six in a row, hmm. but that that is uh, yeah, just that is something. Keep, hey, fly high, boy, boys! Fly high, fly far. Do whatever right. you got to do. Just have that number one next to your name when the uh, when the regular season ends. Yeah, that's right. 
That's what you want. You know, this is kind of like um this is kind of like positioning. Like the number one is the curse, right? The no, no number one uh, team has won the title since nineteen ninety nine. There is no curse. But There's then no like curse. but then you have like um uh like Philadelphia said uh you know they I read that they were talking about in the NBA that um they wanted the seven because they thought they could beat the Knicks hmm. versus the Celtics, who are the one who are yeah, that's more difficult. What if let <laughs> me out on this? It's not the one seed that's the curse. What if the committee's just really bad at ranking people? Could also be could be a possibility. Okay. I guess, right? I mean, that's a, something, I guess. Could be. Um, that's what I'm going with. You're going with that. Yeah, okay, that's no. what I'm going with. Okay. That is uh that is your choice in the matter. <laughs> so you can do that. Yeah. Right. All right. Right. Um Ryan and Prairie Grove claiming you want to roll in as the three seed. Okay. That's what you want. Uh, Michael and Harrison wanting Betts Harrison to make daily Ruskin and Zach bingo cards. They they're have, busy. They have far more important things. They are. They're to busy. Worry about our. Uh... <laughs> we got to come up with something to use that. Uh, use that in anything. What if that's like last call? Like at the end of the show, we like. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's last that. call. Yeah. yeah. Top dog. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> We've also uh, mm. mentioned today, uh, we've been talking about this, uh, it's uh, DQ's birthday today, and yep. uh, the uh, sales team here at ESPN Arkansas decorated her They did uh, area there in the uh, control room. Don't call it an area. I don't know what you it, call it. It's the control room. It's cubicle. It's, and it's, space. DQ, it's DQ's control room. Okay. It's a control room. Right. The DQ control room. So, uh, hey, DQ, while we've, uh, while we've got your attention, uh, what did your Rockies do yesterday? They are bad. What did they, what did they do on a 757? Have you... Have you gone through this yet? I have heard a little bit. I'm what dying to hear about me. this. I'm dying to hear they about this. I'll tell you what. Wrote in the cockpit? Yeah, you can't do that. Um, yeah. Can, can you look that up, please? I, On I, their I, private plane? Yeah, it's a charter. It's a charter, yeah. It's a charter, and they apparently uh, climbed into the cockpit. Hensley Mullins, uh, the uh, former Yankee, now hitting coach for the uh, Colorado Rockies. Um, Hensley Mullins. He was a one-time big-time prospect for the Yankees. Um, I think Bubba would have been there when Hensley Mullins was uh Does Bubba no Hensley uh, You know what? Let me let me ask. <laughs> let, me, let me ask Bubba real quick. So the Rockies are on a team flight. So their coach post one of one of their coaches posted a video mm -hmm. and I guess seen in the video is them talking with the pilot the, in they, the cockpit. That's a no no. Can't do that anymore. No, that's bad. So they're in trouble. Yeah, so with the, yeah. Well, there's an investigation. Look, when the FAA, not the FFA, but when the FAA opens an investigation, yeah, that's bad. What's going to happen? They well, to bust here, all their games. Yeah, well, sitting in the pilot seat. Here's the while Hen the plane is in flight. Yeah, that's not great. No, that's not great. Hensley Mullins could wind up on one of those lists. Oh, do not fly. List? Yeah, he'd have to bust all the games. Yes, that's not going to be that. Fun. That would suck. They play Philadelphia. That's not gonna be yeah, that would be bad. That's a long hard. That's a long car ride. Yeah, that that would be, <laughs> that would be very Colorado long. Colorado to Boston. Yeah, Colorado. Yeah, well, you get seventy over to you know whatever, and then eventually you know about ninety five. I guess that's. Uh, I don't know how that. Works. Uh, Ryan wants to call Bubba. We need a, a shower beer segment. Look, we gave you former one time could have short of should have been uh, Washington General Jimmy Dykes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And so yeah. you know, we I don't like to bother people with. Our nonsense. I really don't either. But they end up listening. And you're just yeah. like, fuck. And then you realize there's nothing else on. And you're like, oh, yeah, we won by default. Because we know nothing <laughs> else comes in here. We've no. heard that. You know, no, like, yeah. I mean, it's the only thing you can get. The only thing you can get. That's right. Comes in on this radio. According to Jerry now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, they, uh, so they're going to get in trouble. Because you can't be in the cockpit while the plane's going. Even I on a charter flight. Why did some idiot take a picture of this and rat him out? Is my other question. He we put thanks, it on his he, social media. He thanks them for the experience. Dummy. The social media, man. It it is what good comes of this? Nothing. Honestly, everybody gets in trouble with stuff. You know, you're either, you know, you're, you're finding yeah. out stuff, you're, you know, well, why are you there? What are you doing there? Uh, on and on. There's, there's nothing good out there. Joey and Rogers has a question. He has FFA investigating the Rockies on his bingo card. We're going to wave that one off. I'm sorry, Joey. That's a no-go. That's a no-go. Sorry about that. Sorry, Joey. <laughs> FAA. 
No, I know they, we've confused the two. But, day uh, drinking, asking. So you're saying he won't be uh, coaching in back to backs in different cities? No, sir. <laughs> no, I don't he think so. Go by car. Yeah, he's going to be Ubering a lot of places. Going to get pricey. Now the question is, how many people went into the cockpit? I, I don't know. Well, someone's holding the phone, right? Unless that's the co-pilot. Which is even worse. Who's in the picture? Oh, yeah, it's probably the pilot. Who's filming. in the picture? Let me see the if guys I can in the seat. find the video. Okay. Oh, it's a video. Okay. Yes. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> oh. uh, I hope he did the whole, what does this do? <laughs> they go take a dive for like 10,000 feet. All these alarms start going see, off. If the, co- if the pilot had had a sense of humor, they would have had one of those inflatable autos. That's that right. Yeah. The that's, autopilot. Okay, that's yeah. an airplane reference from almost right. 50 years ago. If you don't right. get it, I, I apologize. Autopilot. Uh, Skeeter says Robert they can Hayes. still fly private. Um, I don't think they're flying Hensley Mullins private. He's so going to have to pick on. up the dime for that. Yeah, and I, I don't know I if so. he's saved up enough of his bonus to do that. My, so. my guess is that he's going to become a desk jockey when this is over. He's going to have a desk job. He's going to be in charge of uh, analytics and scouting. Yep, yep, yep. In the video department. That's right. In they'll the be, basement of the stadium. He'll be doing a lot of hitting meetings via him Zoom. And Seth, him, and, uh, him and Jonah Hill will be down there watching tape. <laughs> What's your name? Peter, uh, what's his name? Peter Brand. Peter Brand. <laughs> yeah, no, down there in the basement with Peter I Brand and those old guys. I hate that movie so much. You hate that movie because it is not true to baseball. You're, you you no, don't like no, the authenticity no, well, the, of it. I, 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 ugh, see, now you pissed me off. Okay, I sent you guys the video. Oh, no, I saw the video. Let me see this. Hold on. Yeah, I, I saw the video of them, but it just... A couple of questions. Why? Why would the uh, the pilots let them in? Number one. Yeah, don't they know the two, rules? Two. If you're going to do this, do not let anyone record it. Yeah, he is in the the pilot chair. Yes, the pilot sits on the left, right? And yes. the co-pilot's yeah, on the right. Yeah, yeah, he is in the pilot seat. And the co-pilot is sitting next to him. Yeah, Roger Murdoch. That's right. He's got his uh his stripes on. Uh, clearly, the pilot shot this video. Now another guy's walking oh, into the cockpit. Geez. They got four, uh, four people in there, in there, two of them unauthorized. Uh, it's not good. I bet that happens a little bit more often. Not anymore. Than think, not though. on video, it doesn't. Not on video, but I bet I bet no. some famous people have sat in the pilot seat of their uh, private jet. United Charter. Uh, so United's in the soup over yeah, there, too. Are. I mean, they, they could get fined, right? I imagine. Yeah, I yeah. would think so. Yeah, they're playing. A 757 flying over uh, continental U.S. And they got Hensley Mullins riding hey, shotgun. Hey, Captain, what's this thing do? <clears throat> oh, whoops. Sorry. This one level. Uh, that's the button that drops all the oxygen masks. <laughs> masks Hensley. Hensley. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, Ryan, a prayer grub is texting. Guys, let me uh, pause and take a quick knee and tell you, people, that uh, this hitting coach will be in the independent league in Mule Show. You will show Texas next week. Hey, you don't have to worry about flying there. No, sir. You'll be that, in the buses. That's, that's correct. And I think, well, now in the bus, you can't go in front of that line. Mm. Remember in the bus, there's right. that line. You right. can't go in front of the line and bother the bus driver. Uh, DQ Batgirl would like to know if you did your top five Taylor Swift songs. Mm. From the album? Yes. I probably have a oh. five so far. Okay. Mm. You listen to all of them? Yeah. 31. Yes. <laughs> How many times? Probably three or four. Oh. But I listened to, there's this one song I listened to. I'm not kidding. Mm. Probably 15 times today. Right. Here's a disconcerting text uh, out of the 479. I'm a pilot. When I break the regulations in flight, I always make sure the phones are off. What kind of uh, regulations are we talking about? Well, yeah, here? really. Like, uh, like female uh, company men in the, in the, uh, up there. What are, we, what are we doing there? Um, <laughs> huh. Do not do that. Huh. Better ever been in the uh, front of a plane, Timmy? When's the last time I scored? (laughs) Thank you, Joe. (laughs) Holy moly. Uh, Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. That's uh, that's very serious. There's a picture of Otto right there. Somebody's texting. Yeah. He's the uh, auto pilot. Get it. I know you do, but I'm just. I, I, for the benefit I, I actually ever. watched the airplane in the last two weeks. It's a movie you should watch once a year. You know, like, yeah, you, yeah. Shawshank, The Godfather, Airplane. You should watch those at least once a year. You've got all the bases covered. There. Right. I, you look, that, that's just basic right. humanity. That's right. Yes. High right. drama, drama with a touch of comedic relief, and then just you exactly. know, slapstick. Right. Yeah. Right. I just want you to know we're all counting on you. 
<laughs> yeah. Day drinking wants to know did you ever seen a grown man naked? That's right. That's that's of course Jimmy? what, what Peter seen. Graves says as the pilot. I and... cannot believe they got Peter Graves to do that. Yeah, they tricked him. Peter Graves was a serious actor. He was. And he's best known yeah. for that. All right, we'll be back here in a moment on uh, Ruskin and Zach. It is uh, three forty. Stay where you are. This is Ruskin and Zach. And our fan base again is obnoxious as shit on social, so everyone hates us. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Jersey Mike's, locally owned and operated in Rogers, Bentonville, Fayetteville, and Springdale, believes in the value of ingredients, premium meats the freshest vegetables, and delectable bread baked throughout the day. And then there's the juice that elevates your sandwich to the highest level. You'll taste the difference in every bite. Jersey Mike's subs are perfect for catering the office or your next tailgate party. Their cookie and brownie trays are the perfect finale to any type of gathering. Fresh baked daily right there in the store. Jersey Mike's, the best submarine sandwich on the planet, always. Time for another splendid episode of the Smarter Guys at Stith Plumbing and HVAC. Can't buy a sandwich or even a cup of coffee. Not much of anything you can buy for a dollar, except for the first month's membership to the Stith Shield Protection Plan and the annual spring air conditioner tune-up. But that's not all. There's the fall furnace tune-up and two 86-point safety inspections. And the annual plumbing inspection. And you can get started for only $1 for the first month's membership. Call 751-9691 or online at smarterguys at stith.com. Tune in again to hear Brett say... Postage stamp. A stamp is still less than a dollar, but plan membership is still worth more. Oh, much more. On the next Cling to Your Seats episode of the Smarter Guys at Stith Plumbing and HVAC. Your Mach 1 Market Moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics and i would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism but you know there there's still some pessimism oh there, for sure some some concern i mean i here in Northwest i Park. just had a conversation with the client yesterday that they were like things everything's so expensive yeah just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks and that's a very real thing that getting the basics it, and trying to get by day to day and it's costing a lot of money these days to do that and Visit Mach1FG.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered. For full disclosures, visit Mach-1Financial.com forward slash disclosures. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Craft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, 999-1234 for QC Kinetics. Hi there, I'm Sarah, and I just had to share my experience with Mosquito Joe. See, I used to dread spending time outdoors because of those pesky mosquitoes. They would always find me and ruin the fun. I would soak my daughter with bug spray, which hardly ever worked. It was awful. I finally called Mosquito Joe, and wow, it has been quite a game changer. They implemented an eco-friendly mosquito control plan customized especially for my yard. Now I can enjoy my backyard without constantly swatting at bugs and reapplying bug spray every 10 minutes. Visit arkansas.mosquitojoe.com. 
For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. Hi, everyone. Happy Finally Friday. I'm meteorologist Melissa Hall. Temperatures are on the cool side compared to where we have been. We're going to struggle to get into the low 60s by lunchtime, even with that sunshine. That breeze out of the northeast is going to pick up 5, 10, 15 miles an hour, but guess closer to 20 miles an hour at times. So we'll finish the day in the low 70s across the area, but even cooler weather coming in for our Saturday and the rain returning with it. Highs only getting to the low 60s. With your 4029 Get Ready Weather, I'm meteorologist Melissa Hall. ESPN 99.5. We don't read the headlines. We make the headlines. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Ruskin and Zach has been streamed in 157 countries, 50 states, two territories. Yesterday, streamed in Experiment, Georgia. You want to stream it to it? It's at thatline.com. Got one of them Google Play Alexa dot things. Say, hey, play ESPN Northwest Arkansas, and uh, we'll show up. You can also get us on the ESPN Hit That Line app. New and improved. Yeah. Oh, we have a uh, texter here claiming to be a member of the Mile High Club from Fort Smith to Memphis. The whole trip? <laughs> The whole way? What's that? An hour? Hour fifteen? Oh, who's got time for that? I know. They are bad. Yeah, that's that's what that's what they're saying. I don't, I don't, I can't verify any of these facts. Uh, but that's what we're being told. So. That is not true at all. It may not be. I don't know. That's huh. AI DQ. Who's <laughs> also having a birthday today? Yes, she is. Yeah. Hey, is that's Jenny right. uh, going to make an appearance today and uh, help you celebrate? No, I don't think uh, so. Okay. No. Uh, let's see mm-hmm. here. Uh, Ryan wanting a uh, an update on uh, Brett Goop. What about Brett? Uh, when when will he be? Ah, uh, Brett, Brett is uh, he is out. He is working this week. He was uh, very very busy. He'll be back with us next week. Okay, unavailable today. Right. Actually, you know what? Next week we'll get him. Uh, we'll get him on uh, draft day. We'll get him on the first day. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So Brett will uh, he'll be in uh, next see what week. What the Packers do? Yeah. I saw a bunch of teams were talking to a uh, offensive lineman from Harding University, really? including the Cowboys. Okay, yeah. yeah. I was trying to get the guy's name, but he, yeah, you know, he's a big kid. Uh, so uh, yeah, they were. Uh, there was a, some scuttlebutt about that on the internet today. But then I heard uh, I, I was flipping through Get Up this morning. Why? And uh, well, I heard the definitive sentence about the draft, which and is all this sources and insider stuff. Like people tell you things for two reasons in the draft. You're going to keep it to yourself or they're lying. Those are the only reasons people tell you things. Well, coming up to the draft, take the curious case of the New England Patriots at, at the, right. with the yes. third pick. The Patriots have needs all over the place. If the Patriots feel like one of the teams in that four, five, six slot wants the guy, you know, wants somebody, you start floating the idea that, hey, you know, we might take that guy to see if he can drum up some interest. Move back, get a couple picks, save some money, and get some extra bodies. Yeah, I'm, most of what you're going to get now is all just a smoke screen. Yeah. I think the only thing yeah. that's clear is that the Bears are going to take Caleb Williams, and you know, and and, and they're going to be the Bears. Right, right. Uh, the guy's name is Anim Donkwa, six eight three fifty three. Okay, he has um thirty five inch pythons and an eighty five and a half inch uh, wingspan. And this uh, particular draft writer says he's the most moldable tackle in the draft. What does moldable mean? I don't know. He uh, he met with the Cowboys and the Commanders and the Ravens and Jets, Colts, and Vikings. He's a developmental player by for sure. Yeah, we uh, yeah. Uh, and, okay, so that that's a guy that uh, that that you're thinking about maybe day three. Late, upside late, ups, Yeah, you're you're hoping he turns into something. You're the Dallas right. Cowboys. You need help all over the place right now. Right. Yes. Uh, Running back would be a nice, nice start. Yeah. You got to figure out what you're going to do with CD, Dak, you know, yeah. all, all of Micah Parsons. If you let Micah Parsons walk, you're a fool. Here's what's going on in Cersei. Um, 
He met in person in Cersei with the Cowboys, Jets, Ravens, and Commanders, and nobody knew about this. Hmm. So we're we're really dropping the ball on him. I guess I should have been there to to provide the Cersei coverage on this because uh, I think that I would know. be obvious if they were in Cersei talking to him. Well, you would you? think so. I mean, but I guess nobody. I haven't seen anything about it until he uh, was well, asked about it by one of these draft like guys. Have a pro day down there? I'm sure they do. They have a they have a really nice uh, indoor. I don't think it's a full hundred yards, or it may, it's really close. It's a really for a D2 school, their facilities are crazy impressive. And, you know, they're national champs. The only football national champs in the state of Arkansas's NCAA history. history. That's true. I mean, they're, they're the only one. One of one. So there you go. You're going to put some guys in the league maybe if you do that. That'd be cool. Say. I mean, and, uh, you know, he's he's a guy that you're going to have to work with past blocking, past, you know, your past pros and su- such. But, you know, you work on it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you work on it. You got draft coming up next weekend. Very excited. I'm. Uh, I, I like it. I'm, I, I'm intrigued. I spent some time today going over draft busts because yeah, I want to get to that. Okay, because one of one of my biggest pet peeves is the people like Greenberg on ESPN that are incredibly lazy and just default to Jamarcus Russell and Ryan Leaf as the world's biggest draft well, bust in history. Well, well, it's not true. Uh, talking about a uh, draft bust, it's a notable day because um. Uh, we lost uh, one of the great uh, draft, a guy who was in the middle of one of the, and it's hard to believe they're both gone now because Chris Mortensen was there. Yep. And uh, yeah. Bill Tobin, yep. who was running the Colts, right? Yes, he was the GM of the Colts at the time. This is the guy who went on ESPN with uh, Mortensen and was yeah. talking who the about who, Mel who the hell is yeah. He made Mel Kuyper's career. Yes, like, he did. He was talking about, um, you know, the uh, the Kanye thing with Taylor Swift was a terrible thing. It, that was his it made moment. her career. Yeah. Uh, th- this guy saying, who the hell's Mel Kuyper, made Mel Kuyper's career. Yeah. And he went on to talk about how his neighbor is just as qualified and his neighbor's a postman and doesn't have season tickets to the NFL. The, what's funny is the, the the player that they were arguing over, Mel Kuyper, had, told, had basically said that they needed to draft Trent Dilfer. Right. Super Bowl champion Trent Dilfer. Right. Um, and they went and they drafted Trev Albert, by the way, number eight on my big board of biggest draft busts. Big bust board. Big yeah. bust board. I don't think we can say that. Um, right. But uh, he he wound up drafting Trev Alberts instead, who uh, was horrible. Trent uh, Trent Dilfer was in the league for years. So right. uh, who the hell is Bill Tobin? Well, uh, he's... Uh... Uh, I think his brother, Vin, his brother Vince was uh, was the coach of the Cardinals, I believe. Coached the Bears for a while. Yeah. I, mean, I think I'm getting that right. Yeah. But, but he was the guy right there. Like, who the hell is Mel Kuyper? Yeah. Uh, maybe they'll do some sort of a uh, um, memorial uh, next week on the draft on ESPN. Because that really was a moment where they kind of, like, solidified that. Uh, well, it, it gave him credibility because mm-hmm. people in the building were listening to this. Because of what ESPN's uh, people were saying. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's Ty- the best thing that can happen. Tyler thinks that we need to uh, we need to trademark the big bust board. Okay. But I feel like that opens us up to so many other things. No, yeah. Abner's already on top of it. Thank okay, you, thank Abner. you, Abner. Very good. I state. <laughs> I would like to state my regret. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight on my big bust board is Trev Alberts. Yeah. Um, Abner has Abner has gone a a different way. Yeah, he's going Dolly Parton apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's Ricky and Greenwood saying Tony Mandarich was a bigger bust. Ricky, you need to do your homework. Tony Mandarich was an all pro at the end of his career. He was an all pro. He was not a bust. We're going to wind you up on this coming I, up I, in the four this o'clock hour. All right? Because we're, there we're are people this. that are ignorant, yeah. ignorant. We're going to do this to what a bust really is. Yes. All right. We'll hear all of your uh, qualifications. Qualifications. Mm-hmm. Come also, uh, just PSA kids. Don't Google big bust board. <laughs> yeah, we that, can't guarantee. Yeah, can't guarantee what you're going to get back <laughs> on that. Uh, Tyler would like to know if Patricia's on that. Guys. Uh, while Listen. we while we have a moment, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, shout out to uh, Zach's shoes. What you like your shoes, right? Are you wearing your shoes today? You're talking about this yesterday. Oh no, 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 my Giannis. Yeah. No, I love those things though. Yeah, you're not, you're no, not, I don't have my Giannis. He on was today. wearing them yesterday. Yeah, right. yeah that's why I thought I, uh, I I bought some of the uh, the Giannis Santa yeah. uh sh- basketball shoes. They're hella comfortable, as Colt you like would them? say. Yeah, I'm trying to be more like the kids. You know, I'm getting older. I'm trying to fit in. Um, uh, Colton, by the way, would love you to hear this new song, um, uh, Jeremy, by uh, Pearl Jam. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of that. Pretty good. Ah, yeah, it's a great band, Pearl Jam. That's right. Yeah. You heard of these guys smashing pumpkins. Well, he did that 1979. already 1979. Really? Hear this song? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll get into the draft busts uh, coming up here. Uh, and um, 
Is there anything to this Drake Jinx thing? Should we be concerned about this? I would. This be. might be in play now. I would be. All right, I got something about this because the uh, got another uh, possible victim here to the Drake Jinx. 866-285-4005, McClarty Daniel Hotline. Ruskin Attack continues after these important words. Happy Friday, friends. You made it to the weekend. I'm Brandon Evans. This is your 4029 News live local late-breaking update. A former Crawford County deputy is behind bars after pleading guilty to charges following a violent arrest in 2022. Levi White was one of two deputies charged after video showed Randall Worcester being tackled to the ground and beaten. A Mulberry officer was also investigated but was not charged and eventually reinstated. Our Brett Rains tells us how much jail time White and the other deputy who also pleaded guilty potentially face. In other news, people from all over will be in Springdale this weekend for the Hog Eye Marathon. Arkansas Gooch spoke to some out-of-towners about why they enjoy the annual trek to NWA. So how will the weather be this weekend? Chief Meteorologist Darby Bybee is tracking rain for some. Find out where and when the best chances arrive. And in sports, our Cameron Johnson has hog softball at home and hog baseball on the road. I'm Brandon Evans. Tune in tonight to 4029 News. Supply issues are no issue at Shamrock Roofing and Construction. As one of America's largest roofing companies, we stocked up early and we stocked up big. We can do your job right now. And because we paid less for our material, we can share those savings with you. Call today or visit us at shamrockroofer.com. Attention homeowners, storms are firing up quickly and widespread damage means thousands are reaching out for the right roofing company. Don't wait. Get on the schedule with Shamrock Roofing and Construction now for quality and peace of mind. One call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call 479-319-5100. Walk-ons is always a win. Whether it's a post-game celebration, drinks with the crew, or an easy weeknight dinner, Walk-ons has you covered. Scratch-made dishes, wall-to-wall TVs, craft beers and cocktails. Dig into mouth-watering menu items like po'boys, gumbo, and voodoo shrimp, plus fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. Find your nearest location in Rogers, Fayetteville, Fort Smith, Conway, and coming soon to Little Rock. Or order online or in the app. Walk-on Sports Bistro for the win. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got a fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Wrath Mitsubishi. Don Tyson and 71B Springdale. WrathMitsubishi.com. Get ready for adventure with unbeatable deals at Wheels RV. Now through the end of February, we're rolling out the red carpet for you with our exclusive employee pricing event on select in-stock trailers. That's right. You pay what we pay. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing Wills RV. Employee pricing on select models. RV show pricing on all new and used inventory. Hurry in. This offer is for a limited time only. Visit Wills RV today for details and to start planning your next great adventure. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. Call Scott Comiskey in Bella Vista or Steve Harp in Springdale. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR. 
or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird Team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. KAKS Goshen Fayetteville. K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Hey, we're back. Hey. Four o'clock here, Ruskin and Zach. DQ's birthday. Yeah. And uh, DQ's got uh, the control room all uh, decorated. Well, the sales team did this yeah, for uh, DQ today. We don't have the uh, artistic Gumption eye. is the word you're looking well, for. Well, we don't have that either. Uh, so that's uh, what's going on there. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, uh, ESPN Arkansas, we're on the Hit That Line Now app. We're here till 530. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Phil's got baseball coverage for some of you live from uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Founders Park. Zachary, that's where they're playing. Yeah, Founders yeah. Park. Founders Park. That's right. a little uh, presumptuous, but okay. Well, and that's where uh, that's where uh, Arkansas and South Carolina. Now, I, I we'll get to your draft stuff here in yeah, a minute. Sure. I want to talk about the Drake uh, Jinx huh. uh, possibly being real, but um, I like this um, South Carolina fearing a loss tonight has um, jumbled up their pitching rotation. Oh, okay. uh, for the weekend, as many have. Because, you know, let's go get them the next time. Because tonight, tonight may not be your night if you're facing Hagan Smith and you're uh, a uh, SEC baseball opponent. So they are uh, jumbling it up. Uh, I think uh, Best of Arkansas Sports, Hutch called them afraid. Really? Roman Kimball. That may not be the word he used, but it was something. It was a synonym to that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so they are going with, uh, who is this, uh, Roman Kimball tonight. Oh wow! Uh, against uh, Hagen Smith, so uh, they're uh, you know kind of a uh, um, toying with the uh, messing with the rotation a little bit to um, uh, you know see if they can get him next time. Come well, on. all right, <laughs> okay. Like that. So that's what's uh, going on there. Uh, and again, that's uh, coming up uh, in a little while on many of these uh, stations. Uh, let's see here. Any other news of the day we're missing here? I don't think I think we've covered it all, haven't we? Yes. And we got it all. We got it. Oh yes, this is uh we haven't talked about this yet. Uh the NCAA has approved helmet communications. Yep. For this season in college football. So, the way I understand this, all levels of NCAA can use tablets on the sideline. Mhm. Division 1 uh F BS will have the uh, little uh, speaker in the helmet with the quarterbacks and, and and whatnot, and somebody on the defense, I assume, as well. Also, all levels of football, college football, are going to get a two-minute warning starting uh, this season. Oh, more, good. More, more time to... Uh, more, more commercials. More time for Woo. them to put an ad in to right. help you join the collective, uh, so, uh, or convince you, coerce you, whatever it is. So, yeah, so some uh, changes uh, that were uh, made to college football today. To uh, make it more and more like the NFL's uh, little, slightly less talented brother. So, got that going <laughs> on. That's, that's what's going on. All right. Now, um, uh-huh. 
you've been uh, working. I have not seen a lot of this. Okay. So uh, this, I will react in real time, okay. as the audience will, to Zach's uh, draft busts of all time. Is this a top 10 list? No, no, it's just a, it's top five. Top and, five. And okay. Ricky and Greenwood needs to do some reading and some some homework here. He's saying Tony Mandarich was a bust. He was he was made the Pro Bowl in 1997. Um, he, he had Tony Mandarich is is not in the top 10 uh, as far as all time busts go. He was a serviceable player towards the end of his career. Okay. All right. He was a serviceable player. Not a bust. He was a star. Busts would be guys like on this list. Okay. All right. So now uh, I, I hate when guys like Greenberg get up there and they just simply default. To Ryan they Lee. just say Ryan Leaf. Yeah. They just say Ryan Leaf or Jamarcus Mus- Russell. Right. Neither one of them is a top 10 all-time bust. Well, Leaf is. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 Jamarcus Russell is not a top 10 bust? No. Really? No. Okay. So How I had can to, that be? I, I had to put some parameters on this because, I mean, we could be going back to the 20s or whatever. Okay. It starts with the common draft era, which started in 1970. Okay. The, we're only talking about, about guys from 1970 to today. They can't be active players. Trey Lance is act is actively moving towards an all time bust, but he's still in the league. Can't be in there. Uh, injury cannot be the primary cause for their demise. Kajana Carter is who I'm thinking of. And, uh, and okay. Brian, uh, you know, uh, Doctor K brought up Brian, Brian Bosworth. Bosworth was a supplemental pick. The Boz. Okay. Okay. Now here's here are the two things you really need to know. Uh, they have to be drafted in the top five because if you draft a guy at 15 and he washes out, that's not an all time bust. Right. Top right. five. And they have to have played less than, and this is a key number, less than 30 games okay. in the NFL. That's less than two seasons. Okay. All right? They're so Definitely not getting a pension. Correct. Okay. All right. So here, in my honorable mention list, uh, Justin Blackman, former Oklahoma State wide receiver. Now, he had some, um, he had some demons. He, he liked to, uh, to drink a little bit. Um, but he played, um, I think he played like two seasons, 20 games, something like that in the NFL. He right. uh, did, did get 1,000 yards. Trev Alberts. Is on that list and Ryan Leaf. Those are your honorable mentions. Okay. Honorable. So Ryan Leaf on your list is an honorable mention. That's Many correct. people would say he's the worst of all time. That's correct. Now, I will qualify why these guys are among the, the these are the five biggest draft busts of all time. Bottom five. Number five is Heath Schuler. Oh, yeah. Drafted number three overall by the Washington Redskins. I'm guessing he's the only person on this list to go on to Congress. Uh, as far as I know, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, he was drafted number three overall in 1994. Remember, he was a top three Heisman guy. He was like Tennessee all world, Ten- yeah. University of Tennessee, played 29 games in the NFL, oh. 3,600 yards, 15 touchdowns, 33 interceptions Ooh. for the number three pick in 1994. And this was a uh, Washington got him not Joe that, Gibbs. Not that far removed from a Super Bowl no. in 91 with Mark. They, they had a rough stretch there in the early 90s. They drafted Desmond Howard the year before. Ooh. He couldn't catch. He could return kicks, but he yeah, couldn't catch. That's right. They thought they had something there with, with Schuler and Desmond Howard, but Heath Schuler is number five. Number four is Achille Smith. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was taken overall number three, 1999. He played in 22 games in the NFL. Five touchdowns, 13 interceptions for the Cincinnati Bengals. He yeah. was brutally bad. Yeah. But the Bengals, this is what, I'm, this is what I, I always go back to. The Bengals, they lost out on Couch and McNabb. And they had to have a quarterback, so they reached for Achilles Smith, and uh, and and he was he's ab- he's the number four draft bust of all time. All right, now number three, we're gonna go back to 1983. Arch Schleister, quarterback, <laughs> Ohio State, drafted number three overall by the Baltimore Colts in 1982. That's one of the most famous draft. 83 is a famous. It's, draft. it's the 82 draft. It's the oh, year, before. year before. He played 13 games in the NFL. Uh, 11 touchdowns, 22 interceptions, just over 1,000 yards. And I do mean just over 1,000 yards uh, in 13 games. He's the number three draft bust of all time. Number two, and this one was confounding because he was a great college uh, football player. Charles Rogers, huh? Michigan State wide receiver. Draft. Remember when the, the, the Lions drafted a bunch of receivers in a row? Well, he was one of them. Uh, he was number two overall by Detroit in 2003. Right. Played 15 games in the league. 36 catches, 440 yards, four touchdowns. Okay? So so just to recap, I mean, we're talking about guys who were really good college football players who just completely washed out in the NFL. Uh-huh. Heath Schuler's number five. Achilles Smith is number four. Arch Schleister is number three. Charles Rogers, number two. The number one draft bust of all time. And this is where I get mad because this means nobody's doing any sort of homework on this. He was drafted in 1987. He was drafted number five overall by the Cleveland Browns. Ah. He was a linebacker out of Duke University. Yes. His name is Mike Junkin. 
Mike Junkin. Anybody ever heard of him? I can't say that I've heard of Mike, Mike Junkin. Mike played 20 games in the National Football League. He never recorded a stat. Oh, wow. Really? Never recorded a stat. Not a tackle, not an assist, nothing. In 20 games, so, drafted number five. Now, here's the story as it goes. Now, you re- if you remember, if you know your NFL history, in 1987, that was the strike year. He was drafted by um, Marty Schottenheimer into Cleveland. He was a he was a in your dirt or a hand in the dirt um, uh, pass rusher type, and they tried to make him an inside linebacker. Right, and then he held out and he wanted more money, and it, it just he had a very bad uh, he had a very bad situation there in Cleveland. He and Marty Schottenheimer could never get on the same page. So then, <laughs> Marty Schottenheimer goes to Kansas City. Who does Marty Schottenheimer immediately trade for? Mike Junkin. <laughs> He plays like one season there. He was a special teams guy. Did absolutely nothing in the NFL, and then uh, and then washed out of the washed out of the league. Twenty games, did not record a stat. Would that be twenty trillion in uh in Scott would, Hastings? You know what? Eyes. I would have to I would have to put this to Scott Hastings and see what he thought. But I mean, that's the <laughs> definition of a draft bust. Twenty, the fifth pick in the draft, nothing. Absolutely and it's, nothing. It's not like you know he only played in a couple of games. Twenty games is a pretty good sample yeah, size. That's and a sample size. Absolutely nothing. You didn't run into a guy. You weren't nearby where they gave you credit for half right. a tackle. Here, here we nothing. go. Nothing. Uh, here's Jamarcus Russell. Played in 31 games in the NFL. Does not qualify. Jamarcus, if you look at his numbers, he's very similar to Ryan Lee. Those those numbers are very 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 similar. Trent Richardson played more games again. The 29-game threshold is important. Yeah. Uh, here's Dan in Mount Ida. Heath Schuler. What did I just say? You said Heath Schuler. Yeah, sure. On the list. Hi. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Wow. Uh, Brian says, great call on Schuler. He was, I don't know. He he was a guy. I, I have a friend of mine that's a fan of the Washington franchise. And when they drafted Schuler, I remember he could not have been more excited. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, and and that's when people thought that franchise was ran well, and it probably was. Well, they, they just they won the Joe Super Gibbs. Bowl. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, Joe Gibbs was part of that part of that whole thing, and it just it didn't work. And they drafted Desmond Howard the year before, and it, it was just an absolute disaster. But I always I always get frustrated when people default to you know the Mandarich or Russell. I mean, do your homework. Mike Junkin did not record a stat. Not so one. Are um are any of the uh, quarterbacks drafted ahead of Tom Brady? On your list? Uh, no, not yet. No. no. What no, about the no. 49ers drafting Giovanni Carmazzi in but the third what, round? Uh, what year? Third or round. What, okay. Uh, Got to be in the top five. Okay. All right. Got to be in the top five. Okay. Um, I would just looked up the, the, the Brady six. You know, we yeah. all know now about here, that. Here, Jamie and Fable, Lawrence Phillips drafted six. Never mind. Yeah. Again, top five. Under yeah. 20, uh, 29 games is is the number you're looking at. There's there's a bunch of guys that that did that 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 were under under 30 games yeah. uh, that were drafted in the top five. A guy named Steve Niehaus was really really close. A linebacker in the Notre Dame. He did nothing. Um, you know he was, but he played like yeah. I think he played for like 10 years. He was just a special teams guy. I, um, I know you can't play this game, mm-hmm. but think about this. Um, in their first year back in the NFL. In the sixth round, the Browns took Spurgeon win instead of Tom win, Brady. Yeah. Well, they did. They did. They well, could have, when Couch failed, they could have rolled Brady in there. The, the and, knock on Brady was that that he he lost the starting job to Drew Henson at right. one point. Yes. And they didn't think he had, mistakenly, didn't think he had that killer instinct. Oh, oh, oh well. Well, <laughs> you know, obviously that was wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. He... he that that was um, you know here's Ben and Fayetteville saying McFadden was a bust. McFadden had a good career, it wasn't a great career, but he, I mean he's I mean, vested in it. I think yeah, he got I mean, it four yeah, years and four games. I forget how many. Years. I mean he ran for like five thousand yards. He had he was injured a lot. Um, yeah. You know McFadden, but McFadden played seven, eight years, six, seven, eight years, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. McFadden was. I mean you can look at but him I as think people pick and go. People, yeah, he didn't he didn't pan out. But I think the reason people think about this stuff is because they assume if you're a first rounder, you're going to be a Hall of Famer. And when you're not that, then you must be bad because you didn't go from the first round to the Hall of Fame. I think that's what people think the leap will be. And certainly top 10, they're thinking you're going to be an all-time great. Where was Mahomes taken? Was he taken in the top 10? 
10th? Oh, 10th? Yeah. Okay. 10th, 11th, 9th, 10th, 11th, somewhere in there. Somebody passed on him. Well, whoa, well, yeah. I mean, that's uh yeah. Yeah. It's a, that's a famous uh thing to do right there. Yeah, I mean, but it happens. I mean, they're, well, they're... the Bears got Trubisky. That didn't work. And um, yeah, Mahomes went 10 to Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Bears could have taken Mahomes at two. Look, you can sit there and say, you know, I got Ricky and Greenwood just light me up about Mandarich. Was he a bust? Yes. Was he one of the biggest busts ever? No, not it, not by your definition. I mean, the guy played six years in the league. Right. Yeah. That's not a bust. That's right. more. That's better than the average. Right. Somebody like you know, I go back. Nobody knows who Mike Junkin is, and this is why. I mean, twenty games. Oh well, yeah. League, twenty games in the league. Not a stat. Yeah. Not one stat. Yeah. Uh, was Johnny Manziel considered? Again, he was drafted outside the top five. Okay. That that's the thing we got to focus on. It's the right. top five picks. Right. Top five. And played less than twenty. We're talking about games, the, right? the the biggest bust ever. Right. How do you get in twenty games and not accidentally like you triple like, run somebody? Into somebody get I half mean, attack. Pick up a penalty. Something. That's another thing. You he know, got nothing. Illegal hands in the face. The something. First, the, when I when I started doing research on Mike Junkin, I actually started looking through this. I'm like, there's no way. So I went to like Pro Football Reference, which is like the best mm-hmm. stat site can find. They had nothing on him. Yeah. So I go to like the Kansas City Chiefs, Cleveland Browns. I'm looking like I start scrolling year by year through their stats. Dude never recorded anything. Anything. That's crazy. That is uh, that is insane. Robert Gallery. Here you go. Edgar and Springdale. Robert Gallery tackle out of Iowa. He played in 79 games. Yeah. He played in the NFL for a for a couple of years. Yeah. Well, more than 79 games. Yeah. I mean, I mean that that's that's a I mean, he's vested. Yeah. Yeah. Four games, what is it, four years, four games, I think is, is the vesting point. But again, people, this is a lot like, uh, this reminds, this conversation is reminding me of uh, of actors. And they think, well, if you had the big thing, and then we didn't hear what you did for 20 years, that you just like mm-hmm. washed out. No, you were working for all that time right. just in various things and nothing that was, um, you know, a big giant success. Uh, that's kind of like this, like if you're in the first round, and you're and you're taken and you play for a while, but you're not a Hall of Famer. Then people just think don't they don't know you're playing right. Well, you know, especially I mean, on the offensive well, line, you can look at some of these guys and go, yeah, they were a bust. But if you're talking about the five biggest busts of all time, no, you know somebody who played six years in the league, it's not a. I mean, you may say they might not have lived up to their draft spot, right? That's not a bust, right? You're I mean, working. You're working. Make, yeah, very few guys make it six years in the league. You're very, working very and you got the pension. So right. I mean, that's uh, that's it. You know, I mean, like exactly, like you may have um. Um, you may not have a John Cassavetes well, run. No, in, in, he, <laughs> and some of you know some of these guys like Arch Leister ran into problems. Um, uh, it does I happen, mean, he, no. he, you run into that sort of thing. Injury can get you. Kajana Carter is a good example. Um, he battled knee injuries. He was a great running back out of Penn State, yeah. but he he ran into uh, knee problems. Then you can't hold a guy accountable for being that for that happening to him. Right. Mike Mike Junkin couldn't play. That's right. <laughs> he couldn't play. I mean, there's just how Marty Schottenheimer, one of the I, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, I agree. Uh, how he just whiffed on that particular pick, then traded for him again. Right. Um, that that's just absolutely mind-boggling. Yeah. Marty Schottenheimer would be in if he had a Super Bowl already, but he should be in regardless of that. <laughs> well, it, I look at guys like Marty Schott. I mean, these, there are really good coaches, really good players in the NFL that that because they don't have the bona fide, don't have the ring, don't right. get the love that they deserve. One of the guys I think are two guys, honestly, that that didn't get the love they deserve. Jim Plunkett is a Hall of Famer. Two Super Bowl rings. Tom Flores, his coach, with two Super Bowl rings, should be in the Hall of Fame. Marty Schottenheimer should be in the Hall of Fame. It took a while for a guy like Don Coriel to get in. Don Coriel was yeah, one of the most innovative guy, minds in the in the history of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you can uh, join us here. Uh, what, what do you got on the big NFL bust board? 866-285. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the important word there is to put NFL. Yeah, you get that yeah, in if there. If you throw that in there, it changes the whole meaning of everything. You are safe. You're somebody that uh, said Marino was a bust. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, if somebody tells well, I just you, don't know who's going to work with him down yeah, there. If, you, if somebody looks at you and says Dan Marino was a bust, you need to end that friendship right there. Because that is not a smart person. You do not want that person around Like you. Paul Zimmerman back in the day. Dr. Z, <laughs> he said that. I, well, I, the, the, the knock on Marino He didn't out, go to a Super Bowl. He did play in one. He did play in one. He did. But he ran into that juggernaut the, 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 to 49ers the back in the 80s. Yeah, the, exactly. The, the thing with the biggest thing on Marino coming out his senior year was he had a really good junior year. 
and then he regressed a little bit. He didn't play his team and his junior year was really good. His team is saw his senior year was not as good, and his numbers showed it. Yeah. Dan Marino is an all timer, maybe the greatest passing arm, you know, along with Elway that we've ever seen. All right, we'll have more uh, coming up. Ray here. Finkel was a bust. Yes. He, he was, yes. yes. Ray Al Finkel. Bundy, bust. Yes, he was. That's right. Uh, ESPN Arkansas and the Hit That Line Now app. More coming up, including a uh, existential crisis for uh, Bob and Branson that we need to uh, address okay. here right. in a moment on uh, Ruskin and Zach. All right, the Lindbergh team is ready to help you out if you're looking to sell your home like Robert and Victoria. They have a property. They had a property up at Bella Vista. They turned to the Lindbergh Real Estate Group. Robert and Victoria knew they were in good hands as soon as they met with the Limbird team. They listened to their needs and goals. They developed a plan to sell the land quickly and efficiently. The Limbird team worked tirelessly to market the property and generate interest from potential buyers. Robert and Victoria ended up with multiple offers on the table to choose from, a bidding war here. And the Limbird team helped them evaluate each offer, and they chose the one that was best for them. They were impressed with how quickly and smoothly the sale went, thrilled with the final selling price also. And the Limbird team was there every step of the way, just like they'll be for you if you're looking to sell your home. Uh, start it at LimbirdTeam.com and click on Home Estimate. You can find out what your home is worth right now within seconds from the local experts at the Limbird team, the team that has sold over $1 billion in real estate. The agent I would trust if I was selling my home. And the agent that understands that sometimes, you know, life gets in the way. And if needed, Tara will let you out of the contract at any time. All you need to do right now is go to LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M-B-I-R-D. LimbirdTeam.com. Click on Home Estimate. Or check out the over 900 five-star reviews by going to Google and typing in Limbird Real Estate Group. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Hey, here's a question. After you wear your clothes, you toss them in the washing machine, right? Nobody wants to wear dirty clothes. So how come you don't throw your shoes in the washing machine when they get dirty? I mean, come on. Your shoes are touching the filthy ground all day long. Gross. Well, with Skechers, you can because most Skechers are machine washable. That's right. Skechers are specially made so you can toss them right in the washing machine and keep them clean and looking new. And when they look new, you can confidently wear them longer. That's less shoes you're going to want to throw away, which means less waste. And it'll save you tons of dough. I love that. Plus, machine washable Skechers are for the whole family, men, women, and kids. So when your kids get their shoes dirty, oh, and we know they will, just wash them. Brilliant. And even our latest technology, New hands-free Skechers slip-ins are washable. You just step right in and go without bending down or even touching your shoes. So give your Skechers the same treatment you give your clothes. Just toss them in the washing machine and keep them looking brand spanking new. Buy machine washable Skechers at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear happens to be sold. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. If you're like most people, you've had your fair share of financial questions. Questions like... Can I afford my son's travel hockey team? What if my daughter doesn't get that soccer scholarship? Will I be able to enjoy golf in retirement? At Empower, we know these questions can be stressful. We're here to help answer your what ifs and empower what's next. Join 18 million Americans and take control of your financial future. Start today at empower.com. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice and prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house season. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, one block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, 479-443-0000. 
If you're interested in continuing your involvement in high school athletics and want to make some extra money, what better way to do so than by becoming an official? For information on how you can give back to student athletes in Arkansas, please contact us at 501-955-2500. Again, that's 501-955-2500. The Arkansas Activities Association is looking for sports officials, and you may be the answer. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. It's the spring sale event going on now at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. 80% off Cali King Adjustable Base and Mattress. Only $7.99. Get a free pillow and protector on purchases over $3.99. Living room starting at $7.97 and dining set starting at only $1.99. Don't forget 20% off website orders at CheapSleep.net. Don't miss the spring sale at Cheap Sleep Furniture and Mattresses. Springdale, Fort Smith, Bentonville, and Conway. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a thousand used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. With six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale, you're never too far away from a great deal. But that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClarty DanielDaniel.com. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Hello, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist R.B. Bobby. The 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a cool weekend out there and certainly chilly out there tonight with partly cloudy skies, lows dropping into the mid 40s by tomorrow morning. As we go throughout the day on Saturday, we'll have some increase in cloudiness, but uh, not a totally cloudy day. Highs low to mid 60s. A spotty shower can't be ruled out, but generally a dry Saturday. Saturday night, cool again. Lows dropping back in the 40s for Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, a lot of sunshine, not a bad day. Highs in the mid 60s. That's your Get Ready Weather only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. It's Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. News is brought to you by the good chair. Because I had to have a place to sit and get the good chair only at the stadium shop. Stop by and tell Robert, you want a seat in the good chair. And the Joe Bottom offer sucks. Baseball team hits the road for a weekend series three game set with the 20th ranked Gamecocks. Razorbacks are 32 and 5 on the year. First pitch tonight, 6 p.m. We're on the air at 5 30 with the dugout show. You can hear the game on selected ESPN Arkansas stations, as well as hit that lot, hit that line.com and the hit that line app just announced. Sunday's game has been moved to Saturday. They're going to play a double header uh, beginning at 11.30 tomorrow. Broadcast Maybe, time at broadcast 11.30. Time, broadcast so time noon at 11.30 start tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So uh, so that has, uh, that has that that's the news of the hour, right? Yeah, double These will be tomorrow. two nine-inning games tomorrow. Oh, boy. Starting at noon Central Time. God bless you, Phil. That's going to be a long An day. hour break between the two games. You're asking at Zach X polls brought to you by our good friends of Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809 for all of your heat 
into air needs. When your low fuel light comes on, at how many miles to go would you be considered irresponsible? 63% of you say 10. I think that's reasonable. If health in, uh, Is health insurance so expensive right now that snitches get Band-Aids? 93.3% of you said yes. DQ turns 23 today. Using her math, how old is she? The correct answer is 25. 35.9% of you knew that. 43.8% of you, just being nice to her, said she's 20. Those are your uh, Ruskin and Zach X polls. Brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809. All right. There is a league action going on right now in uh, baseball. Uh, they're playing a doubleheader in Tuscaloosa. And A&M is um, in front 8-4 to four All right. over Alabama. Uh, A&M won the first game today, 10-5. to five. Uh, They're in the third now, down at uh, Sewell Thomas in Tuscaloosa, in the T-Town. So, action underway in the Southeastern Conference. Nice. Get one tonight, two tomorrow, and yeah, yeah. get to enjoy one. your Sunday. Yeah, another Sunday free for, uh, you know, Razorback fans have kind of gotten used to this because of the Thursday-Saturday series mm-hmm. earlier in the year. Now, another Sunday off. Hey, enjoy. 18 innings of Diamond Hog Baseball tomorrow <laughs> from Columbia, South Carolina. Woo! That's a that's a good six hours. Uh, maybe maybe more. Six, seven, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Start to finish, it's probably six and a half, seven wow. hours. Mm-hmm. Man, a lot of baseball, Zach. A lot, lot of baseball. A lot of baseball. A lot of baseball. Let's go to the McClarty Daniel hotline here. Glenn is on the phone. Hi, Glenn. What's up? Oh, I was going to get in on that NFL, though. Yes, sir. Well, I don't think it's, it ain't on Zach's guidelines as a number five pick, and I think it's probably more of a the organization. The Chiefs in 83, they had a shot at a quarterback, and they took Todd Blackledge. Yeah, and he was, he was seven. Yeah, I think they took him like John seven. Elway yeah, on they the board. did. Yep. Well, not Elway. They had um, Jim Kelly was on the board. Yeah, that's uh, right. Dan Marino was on the board. Ken O'Brien was on the board. Ken O'Brien had a really solid NFL career, but they took Blackledge because, quote unquote, he was a winner uh, in college. That <laughs> was, was the, a winner, wasn't he? Uh, he yeah, no, he won, did win the Heisman. He did win the national title uh, with Penn State in 1982. Right. Uh, he did not win the Heisman Trophy. No. He did not? No. Oh. No, he won the national title I though, he did. with no, the, no. with that Penn State. The eighty-two uh, Heisman Trophy winner, Blackledge's senior year, would have been that Herschel Walker guy. Oh yeah, yeah, he Herschel. turned out okay. Yeah, and uh, Mike Rozier won it the next year. This is this is my bag. I can go Heisman. Oh, Trophy. you know this? I know this all the way back to like six. This is your Rain Man yeah, moment. Yeah, this here. is okay. this is you. You want right. to see you know where I, where the the OCD issues kick in? How many games did Todd Blackledge play? Not many. Not many. He would be. He would, if you if you expanded this out to the top see, because of where he was drafted, it's it you know he's outside that that top five range. I think he was drafted seventh or eighth um, in, in that draft. There were a lot of really good players, good college players in that draft that just didn't pan out. No. He, that nineteen eighty three draft was wild though. Yeah, it looks like he was uh, in um, forty some odd games. Yeah. in his career. Okay. Yeah, he he. Um, he in in that uh, thank 30, you, Glenn. Appreciate that, it. That thirty for thirty um, on the the eighty three draft. He was Elway to Marino. Yeah, that's a good was, one. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a really really good one. He he was talking about that because he was he was playing for John Makovic in Kansas City, and like Makovic never gave him an opportunity. It was like right. they put him in, they pull him out, they put him in, they pull him out, and he just never kind of stuck. Uh, uh, never got a chance to really kind of to grow with uh, with that team. Yeah, yeah. All right, good stuff there. You know who's number five in that draft? Billy Ray Smith. University of Arkansas. Yeah, he had a heck of a career. Is Long that, career in the NFL. I'll have to pull this up on the website. Is he the highest drafted Razorback in the NFL? McFadden went fourth. Did he? Yeah. Okay. I thought McFadden went to, uh, like... No, McFadden may have gone third. I'd have to look back at the... Uh, They've got draft. it all on their uh, website here. I'm pulling it up right now. to see. Uh, I, I know McFadden, I think, is the highest. No, what did it all work go? Uh well it, it depends he got drafted in both leagues he went in the AFL and the okay. uh, and the NFL uh let's see highest pick I, I found um uh, yeah it's uh, some obscure guy um common draft era seventy forward okay uh Dan Hampton went fourth overall in okay. seventy nine um an eighty three Billy Ray Smith fifth overall okay. McFadden went uh. 
bad memory. It's on there somewhere. That was what, the 2008? Uh, fourth overall. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So he went fourth this overall, is, look, and uh, Dan Hampton went fourth the, overall. The draft in, is... In the, since the merger, we'll say. The, the draft is Nerd Olympics for me. Oh, the, like I it, love the draft. Right. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you things about Kenneth Sims, uh, number one overall pick for the Patriots in 1980. Um, I, I Or 81, excuse me. I, I can do this all day long. Why would you want to tell us these You know things? why? Because this is this is my thing. You have your Broadway shows and game shows. The NFL draft is my thing. Hey, by the way, if mm. uh, if Richard Thomas is listening somewhere in uh, Northwest Arkansas oh, and wants to give gosh. us a call, we would love to talk to Richard Thomas. We'd love to talk about Ozark. Oh, you know, you know the theater. You, you got two and a half hours. I mean, you got plenty of time. You to get know your character lines. Play. I mean, you're and not, you do know the lines. It's not yeah. like you're out there working. You know, you're yeah. not up there practicing. Yeah, it's really good. All right, we got to run here. We're we're, we uh, we're falling behind. We got DQ with the weekend review yeah. coming up here. It's a uh, Ruskin and Hey, text. we got a commitment. Oh, we got that too. Yeah, Stay we got commitment. Us. This is Ruskin and Zach. Venus trephobia is the fear of beautiful women. Man, I don't have that. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline to join the local conversation on ESPN Arkansas. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel has a vehicle to fit both your style and budget. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, you're never too far from a good deal. Visit McClartyDaniel.com to find your next ride. Find your next ride with McClarty Daniel at a price you'll love. Join the conversation on ESPN Arkansas at 866-285-4005. Robert and Victoria wanted to sell their property in Bella Vista. They turned to the Limbird Real Estate Group. From the moment they met with the Limbird team, Robert and Victoria knew they were in good hands. The team listened carefully to their needs and goals, and they developed a plan to sell the land quickly and efficiently. Over the next few weeks, Limbird Real Estate Group worked tirelessly to market the property and generate interest from potential buyers. They leverage their extensive network of contacts and use innovative marketing strategies to get the word out about the land. Before they knew it, Robert and Victoria had multiple offers on the table. The team at Limbird helped them evaluate each offer and ultimately chose the one that was best for them. Robert and Victoria were not only satisfied with the results, but also impressed with how Limbird handled the entire process. They've been through the real estate process before, but this was by far the smoothest and most efficient experience they've ever had. Find out more about it at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M-B-I-R-D. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it. And at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. Hey y'all, it's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Cuts. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Cuts. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Cuts, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Cuts, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little man in training at Mission and Crossover in the Hart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. Welcome to Lighthouse Financial, where they understand your financial life is more than a rate of return. With over 60 years of combined experience, the Lighthouse Financial team of experts look to help reduce the amount of taxes you'll pay during your retirement years. If your current advisor isn't incorporating taxes into your retirement planning, then give Lighthouse Financial a call at 479 479- 696-8234. That's 479-696-8234. Or online at lhfinancial.net. 
Lindsay and Associates are celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business and are the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. With over 200 professionally trained agents and three convenient locations in Fayetteville, Rogers, and Bentonville, Lindsay and Associates is a winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar & Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar & Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. Get ready to roll this season with huge savings during New Holland's Ready to Roll sales event. Going on now at WT Equipment right now. Get 0% financing, up to 48 months on hay tools, 60 months on mid-range tractors, and 72 months on compacts. Or choose cash back and save thousands. Whether you need consistent strength and efficiency for your daily grind or an upgrade for the weekend chores, WT has the machines you need with the deals you want. Subject to credit approval, standard term conditions and restrictions apply. Down payment may be required. WT Equipment, your partner in progress. ESPN 99.5. influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. I have a low IQ. Oh boy. There he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, DQ's Week in Review coming up. We have a uh, portal news. Portaling news. We have portaling news you can use here on uh, ESPN Arkansas. Uh, your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle or just use this one. You don't have to put up with any malarkey called 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. I hope they get hit by a bus. You are mean. <laughs> Look, another player has rung the bell. That means he did his personal best. Oh! Woo pig. By the way, uh, Joe letting us know that's Charlie yep. the dog. He was getting to howl in the background. Charlie is a good boy. There you go, Charlie. All right. Charlie. What do you call him? You like call him Chuck? Oh, Charlie. Okay. All right. Good, good job, Charlie. All right, portal news you're going to use. Here we go. Here we uh, go. According to Pete Thamel, oh. Florida State running back Rodney Hill has committed to the University of Arkansas, according to his agent, Joe Hernandez of Just Win Management Group. He's played two years at FSU, redshirted as a true freshman uh, in his FSU career. He accounted for 417 yards from scrimmage and two touchdowns. We need Janine. We got one hitting the bell. Oh, I'm on it. All <laughs> right, I, I, I'll make sure that that happens. <laughs> Hang on. We got one. That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll I'll put that together. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So uh, according to his agent, yeah. Boy, we are in a new world, aren't we? Boy, I hate saying that. <laughs> oh, do I hate saying that? Let me look at this guy. Let me see this guy, Rodney Hill, mm. Florida State, five ten, one ninety. You said that already, right? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Statesboro, Georgia, right? Native. He's from Georgia. Uh, let's see here. He was a uh, three-star coming out of high school. Three-star transfer. Oh, well, there you go. So they lose uh, uh, Augustov, mm -hmm. and uh, they gain uh, this guy, who was um um. Uh, he was uh, a role player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um. But uh, yeah, there you go. All right, so we got some football port. So that's that's one coming in. That's right. And we still have not seen, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, exits from the no, 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 football they, team. No, not yet. The Max Fletcher was the the, the latest one, but uh, yeah. that was because he got beaten out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are also uh, we're watching here. Um, Don't you know what? Just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Just let it go. Well, a Ferrari wreck. I, I know should... that. They always wreck. It's what they do. It's also raining in the so uh, doesn't matter. You know what? Earlier. They they wreck when it rains. They wreck when it's dry. They wreck when it's snowing. It they wreck when the sun's out. They wreck when it's cloudy. 
They just wreck the cars. That's what they do. Um, let me uh, also uh, smack Daddy on the McCarty Daniel Hotline once to know does he play basketball? Smack Daddy, you're gonna have a basketball team. It's gonna just be relax. okay. They don't play till November. It's fine. All right. Breathe. Deep breathe in. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. It's gonna be fine. All right. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right. We're good. Calm down. Did my nose make a weird noise on the uh, inhale? Always there? makes a weird noise. Yeah, that. I need to get that looked at. You might want to. <laughs> they have a deviated septum in there. I don't know. All right. Uh, DQ is uh, pulling. A, we're, we're making DQ work we very, no, whoa, 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 whoa. very hard on We're not making day. DQ do anything. This was her choice. Okay. Was uh, to do all of this on Friday. On her birthday. Right. DQ's birthday today. See the uh, If you're watching on uh, television, you can see the uh, control room de- uh, de- decorated in DQ's honor. Right. And Taylor Swift flag and uh, balloons and all Which that stuff. Which she will fly outside of her house. Yeah, you got to put that on the balcony yeah, or something, absolutely. right? I mean, that's you do. <laughs> Hanging on my wall. Yes, that's, that's right. That's what frat guys do. Oh, yeah. Like a bar stool flag. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. But it's my Taylor Swift flag. That's right. There you go. You, you look at you fighting back. So DQ keeps up with all the stupidness that goes on around here every week. And uh, I think we, unlike last week where it was mostly sports, we actually may have gone into some weird directions this week. So we actually have some stuff in the recap, I think, this week that might all be right, good. DQ, let's here we go. Okay, well, we're going to just start with my personal favorite Google search of the week. All right. Uh-huh. Which was, what is a class three lever? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Simple machine talk right. the yes. other day. All right. See, when y'all went to baseball, uh, thing, things got a little loopy in here. All right. You know, we were learning a little <laughs> That's bit. That's right. Yeah, it's a class three lever, lever which we learned was teeter totter. Teeter totter. Yeah. Okay. Or a uh, catapult. Same difference. Okay. Yeah. Or a trebuchet. Trebuchet. But that's different. Well, you guys were talking about that because you were trying to figure out um, what kind of lever the T-shirt gun was. Mm. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. What, right. You were trying to think of alternative ways for the T-shirt gun. Right, right. Okay. And then we got into lever talk, <laughs> and then someone <laughs> called me and told me <laughs> the levers and then examples of the levers, <laughs> which I appreciated. Yeah, no, we learned something. <laughs> you go, man. That's... How do y'all listen to this? You know, we're just here to amuse ourselves. That's, I guess that's why. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Moving right along. Moving along. Okay. Um, A text that, my favorite text of the week that we got was, and they didn't have their name on it, so not. can't give credit, right? from the 870. Of course, but because not, it is always it's the not 870. A bad, but um, I actually had the TBT catching a stray bullet on my <laughs> bingo card today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yes. <laughs> because it really did just come out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that's a sore spot with us. Well, yeah, they 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 want to they want us to put them on here and hump their stupid tournament and then nobody shows up. So like, we've we been stood up two years in a we row. We don't care. So, <laughs> now, so now we are and, officially and now we off really that. don't care. Yeah, we're officially off that bandwagon. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's over with. <laughs> okay, another Google search that I looked up and I can't remember why I looked this up, but um I looked up how many cups of beer can you get out of a keg? <laughs> Oh, because we're going to have a keg party. Yeah, That's why, right. though? A keg. Yeah, I why? don't remember why. Oh, it's for... No, no, no. I remember. It was for the Ruskin and Zach Live. Oh, yeah. we were And you said yeah, you yeah, would yeah. get kegs. In the spirit <laughs> of uh, the Kelsey brothers selling out a 13,000-seat arena for right. their live show, we were going to try and fill a junior high auditorium with a few hundred people. Classroom. And some Class- kegs. And, and some kegs. We thought the kegs Which was probably not them. allowed, but, I mean, we were going to try it, so... I mean, look, if you haven't had a keg on the school on school ground. Well, well, it's in the closet. Yeah, what you said you the really last done? time you had a keg was in high school. That's correct. That's not allowed either. Keg in the closet, pizza Since on the when floor. When did you two become high and mighty? You know what? Left you live your life, I'll live mine. <laughs> what up, Kenny Chesney? Uh, okay. Yeah. My next one is, it's like watching cats on LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, yeah you know what? But I don't think I don't like think me. Clay I don't think Clay did because I wrote that's, it. That it's too like far me. down my list. What? Um, I think you said it. What were we talking about? I wrote it down. I know. Hold on. All right, let him work. Let it's him like work. Like watching through. cats on LSD. Talk it out. It's like Wheel of Fortune. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Talk I, it have, out. I have no idea why. I I know it's a reference to like herding cats or something uh, like that. Yeah. What? 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 Why were you guys were talking about? If you would rather watch a hundred 
youth pitch games oh, or a hundred oh, yeah, 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 or yeah, all yeah, 100 we MLB about, games. Uh, we we're talking about watching six year old uh, T ball. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And you guys talked about how, well, at least the the six year olds are there because they love the game. That's right. And it's an hour time limit. <laughs> so I mean, and you'll and that's really what's important. And you'll get like two innings in, and then you know the other forty minutes they'll be figuring out how to get the equipment on. So <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And my last quote of the week is, "Y'all are a bunch of sewing circle gossip girls." Oh, oh I said that. He uses the word "sewing circle." <laughs> I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm a sewing circle. I don't yeah. know if anybody else heard that quote except me because it was very just. Why? 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 I, who did he call? I, I know oh, you do. Okay. I know what. Yeah. I know this one's about. All right. Uh, the other day, everybody was all wound up on. I guess this was Wednesday because KJ Jefferson had a mugshot uh, yes, in yes, Washington yes. County. And everybody was like, yep. you know, snickering to themselves about KJ having a mugshot. And I said, you're a bunch of sewing circle, yeah, uh, that's, whatever it goes. That's exactly right. Busybodies. Something like that. Well, look, I mean, everybody, know-it-alls. everybody's got to <laughs> spill the tea. Oh, no. Don't I, do that. I hate that. Please phrase. don't do that. That is again. the dumbest I don't phrase. like sp- spill the tea either. Since really? when? You're off on, you're off the tea? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when? Like Since when? I don't like the phrase spill the tea. But the phrase like tea. Oh god. It's different. No, it's not. It's dumb. Like, ooh, tea. Oh. But not spill the tea. Are you going out tonight to celebrate your birthday? To eat with my parents. So no. <laughs> well no, because tomorrow's who chose, who got to choose tomorrow's the restaurant? Strawberry Festival day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Will you wear your overalls? I don't have overalls, sadly. Well, can he have a Pepsi in the pocket? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Pepsi in the pocket. I love it. There, yes, no doubt. <laughs> I got to pick the restaurant. I'm s- still debating, though. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, you get the your birthday girl. You get to pick the restaurant. Those hey, are, at least I wish get, someone would pick it for me. At least in your family, you get to to. I had I, I was in a situation once where I couldn't actually pick the restaurant I wanted to because somebody didn't like, or we had to pick food based on what another person liked. It was awful. Oh, you were married. Yes. <laughs> <I see. Yeah. laughs> Last time around, I mean, you couldn't go anywhere because, well, he won't eat this. <laughs> Just awful. Yeah. I don't think, like, I, I don't think there's any places. I can't think of many places where that I just, like, absolutely refuse. Like, if I have to go somewhere once a year for a birthday, I can, I can make it through. There's something on there. I can eat it. I'll be fine. This is not the way it used to be. I used to be the pickiest eater of all time. And I go to like four restaurants, but uh, I have a real problem with this. You have a real problem. Yeah, if we if we if we go out to eat and we have to eat based on your dietary restrictions, we're not going out to eat. You're uninvited. No, I'm not talking about you personally because you'll eat anything at this point. Oh, you mean with the persons? Yeah, group. like like it's your birthday and you're like, well, we can't go there because well, uninvite them. This is my day. <laughs> they don't deserve to go. They, they want them there anyway. They don't oh, want to eat meat I don't... or something. Huh? They're vegan or something? No, no. They, well. Ugh. <laughs> I, I don't I'll, I'll get myself in trouble well go ahead I, I mean why not it's friday afternoon yeah, it's, come friday on. it's a weekend afternoon. i mean all loosen your tie come on all they'll eat are chicken nuggets uh, oh yeah. come on chicken nuggets can we go to a real restaurant any please are you talking not, about kinsey no not even <laughs> not even chicken, her? Yeah, not even she, chicken fingers that child will eat anything yeah anything I not a picky her. eater that's no, good no i had to go load up on food because I, i've got her this weekend Three hundred dollars worth of food. It'll be gone by Sunday. Yeah, you'll she be... eats everything. You'll be eating cardboard. I, I mean, I'm just feeding a bottomless pit. Yeah, and she never gains weight. Yeah, I hate her for that. She's triple jumping. This well, is what young people do. I was this way. God, it sucks. Yeah, well, it's the way it's circle of life. And just plows through everything. Doesn't gain a pound. Yeah. And then it's like I'm hungry. Yeah, that happens. What are you making? Anything good? I, I think I'm doing fajitas tonight. Oh, look at there. Yeah. You buy the pack of the meat? Or no, you make no, it? no. I actually have the steak. I'll cut it up, throw it in the, the, the iron skillet, season it up. I've got, uh, I there do, I, go. I, now I cheat a little bit because I've got the fajita vegetable setup deal oh, that okay. I bought. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I'll just chuck the vegetables. Well, that's in just there. the veggies. Yeah, I mean, it's just the veggies. It's an accessory. Right. Now, here's the thing the kid likes a salsa uh, mixed in with her uh, fajita. Ooh, so, you gotta, so you got to throw a little salsa in there, some cheese on top, and then yeah. uh, turn her loose. And she'll eat I, five of those. I think the, I really believe the food I am least attractive eating is a fajita. 
I can't, I just, between rolling it up and then trying to like dip it in, it's, it's, it's a, I look like a, I look like a, like, a, like a chimpanzee. I don't like wings or ribs. Yeah. Or no, I like you. them, but I hate eating them in public. But yeah. I, know I would what I'm rather doing. eat them in the comfort of my own home. I know what I'm doing with wings. You pick them up, you know, you, you gnaw on them and then you get the bone, you throw it away. Uh, but with fajitas, you know, I'm either wrapping or I'm like, I, I just, and then you're trying to get the stuff off the fork yeah. into the thing yeah. and into the tortilla. And it just, I, I look like a, I look like an imbecile when trying to, trying to make, make uh, fajitas. I'm not having fajitas. Okay. Noted. Okay. All right. Drive home powered by Mr. Sparky here on Ruskin and Zach. I really, I look like, uh, like people ask, is he okay? When they see me uh, in, in the restaurant eating fajitas, I'm like, I'm not okay. But that's neither here nor there. All right. Baseball's coming up in a little while, everybody, yeah. but not quite yet. Not quite yet. You still get another half hour of, of this dog and pony outfit. Coming up next here on ESPN Arkansas and the Hit That Line Now app. Happy Friday, friends. You made it to the weekend. I'm Brandon Evans. This is your 4029 News Live Local Late Breaking Update. A former Crawford County deputy is behind bars after pleading guilty to charges following a violent arrest in 2022. Levi White was one of two deputies charged after video showed Randall Worcester being tackled to the ground and beaten. A Mulberry officer was also investigated but was not charged and eventually reinstated. Our Brett Rains tells us how much jail time White and the other deputy who also pleaded guilty potentially face. In other news, people from all over will be in Springdale this weekend for the Hog Eye Marathon. Arkansas Gooch spoke to some out-of-towners about why they enjoyed the annual trek to NWA. So how will the weather be this weekend? Chief Meteorologist Darby Bybee is tracking rain for some. Find out where and when the best chances arrive. And in sports, our Cameron Johnson has hog softball at home and hog baseball on the road. I'm Brandon Evans. Tune in tonight to 4029 News. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lunch today. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at PrecisionDoorNWA.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Hey, it's James Teague with the Teague Law Firm. With almost 30 years in business, the Teague Law Firm can help you with all family law matters, including divorce, custody, and child support. We can also help you with criminal law ranging from felonies, traffic offenses, DUIs, and more. Call me at the Teague Law Firm at 479-877-1688. That's 479-877-1688. Visit us online at teague-law.com. The Teague Law Firm. If we can't help you, we'll talk baseball. The one, two. He struck him out swinging. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got to fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road Ready Certified Pre-Owned Cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Wrath Mitsubishi. Don Tyson and 71B Springdale. RathMitsubishi.com. Your one-stop shop for everything golf. Golf USA in Fayetteville. The best selection, the biggest brands. Titleist, Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Mizuno, PXG. Great golf apparel by Travis Matthew. FootJoy, Adidas, Nike, Bad Birdie, and William Murray. And Golf USA has been a Golf Digest top fitter six years in a row. They have full club repair and two hitting bays for custom fittings and indoor play. We are as golf as it gets at Golf USA. 3184 North College in Fayetteville. 
Attention homeowners, storms are firing up quickly and widespread damage means thousands are reaching out for the right roofing company. Don't wait. Get on the schedule with Shamrock Roofing and Construction now for quality and peace of mind. One call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. Need new roof? Shamrock Roofing and Construction can have you covered right now for as low as $139.99 with approved credit. For quality and peace of mind, one call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. Sign Studio is the source for complete visual marketing, so don't let the name fool you. We're not just signs. Sign Studio is your all-encompassing partner for advertising success. Need a logo? We'll design it. Want it printed on pins, cards, banners, or even tablecloth? We'll do it. What are you waiting for? Kickstart your brand with our custom products today. Visit YourSignStudio.com or call 479-250-4844. Are you ready for some football? Well, the 2024 Brandon Burlesworth Football Camps will be here soon. Learn the game of football from Razorback greats at these half-day camps that are open to students aged 7 to 15 years old. Camp dates are May 31st at F.S. Garrison Stadium in Harrison and June 1st at War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock. Early registration is just $45. And remember, enrollment is limited. So register today at brandonburlesworth.org. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com. Got the lineup cards for baseball. Oh, checking those. Great God, yeah. yes. Elf. Right, one more name in there. All right, got it. I'm set up now. The book is ready to go for uh, game one coming up here in an hour or so between Arkansas and South Carolina. This is ESPN Arkansas and the Hit That Line Now app. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, a fajita tip. All right, I'll, I'm interested in this. We'll get to this coming up here in a moment. Uh, your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle or just use this one. Woo! You don't have to put up with any malarkey call 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. If I hired someone to drive me around, would it be weird if I also sat in the front seat with them? <laughs> right. Uh, here is a uh, text from Kansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Okay. Pro tip: When eating fajitas, roll up the tortillas and treat it like it's a dinner roll. Mm, okay. Bite of food with the fork. Bite of tortilla. Learned when visiting Mexico. Didn't okay. see a single Mexican roll the stuff inside. Okay. I see. So you bite it with the food, then you get a bite of tortilla. Okay. Okay. Everything gets to know each other in your mouth. Got it. All right. Did we get that clean? <laughs> okay, good. Um, hey, shout out to Preston who brought DQ some Preston uh, yes. brought, brought DQ some uh, birthday gifts. What'd you yeah, get in there? What do you got there? We all, we, the but he also brought biggest us biggest tub of cookie uh, butter I've ever seen yeah, in my is, entire life. This is like buyers club it's stuff here. Head, like, head comparison. Head. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, if you need me, I'll be on my couch. Okay. Uh, and that. then also a variety of this really fancy chocolate. Yeah, look that at that. He's brought us before, and it's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Where's it from? We can give him. It's from Onyx. Onyx. He's Sorry, the chocolatier at Onyx. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we love it. All right. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Now I can get. He I brought can, me coffee one time that was it's just good. It's good, yeah. unbelievable. Uh, we can um, 
I can go Nilla wafers with this cookie butter, right? Yes, you can. Uh, now, the, I, I like sent the screenshot of this to the kid, of milk. and she's like, "Do they have the cookies?" I'm like, "We'll go get them." But Nilla wafers might. Be I the just way to bought go. a new box. Did you? Really? Oh yeah, yeah last weekend. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was it was time. The ones we had were uh, no longer uh, usable, so it was time for a new box of Nilla wafers. I do love a good Nilla wafer. Oh, they're they're great. They're so versatile, right? They go in the pudding. They are. Uh, I uh, went to a play. I can't shout this place out. I went to a place and had some ice cream mm. this week, and they had a like a banana cream pie ice cream it with had, the wafers it in it. Had the wafers in it. Listen, it there had are the wafers in it. There are things I would do. I would do some things. Commit crimes. For, uh, I would do. There are a lot of things I would do uh, for really good uh, banana pudding, and and I'm telling you. I feel like there's a missed opportunity for a tie drop somewhere in here. That's see, but that's why I'm in control of it. Um, <laughs> when I was at the when I was at the six A tournament, Johnny Rice's wife, Mrs. Rice, made the best banana pudding I have ever had in my entire right. life. That's good, right? Yeah. Oh, it was crazy good. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. I've been known to snack on a Nilla wafers, peanut regular peanut butter, and milk. Now I'm gonna. Bust out the cookie butter and uh, see how that goes. Never tried that before. I'm looking <laughs> this forward is gonna to be, it. Uh, this is going to be. I'm going to gain some weight this week. I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to be singing that uh, Jardian song. <laughs> I have type two diabetes, but I manage it well. I could use a good ass kick, and I'll be very honest. With you. <laughs> ah, all right. Did they have bread pudding ice cream? I don't remember, Jeff. They had many different uh, varieties of ice cream, and you know, on your list, and I disagree with you on your list because you claim. That there's no such thing as bad barbecue and bad pizza. No, both exist. No, um, there is no bad ice cream. I've never had bad. I've ice never cream. had. Well, I've never had bad ice cream. But uh, homemade, we screwed it up a couple times. Yeah, but from well, the from the yeah. uh, from the parlor. No, 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 no. Can't no, beat no. it. You know, there's a place in Little Rock right down the, the street from my favorite uh, pizza place in Little I, Rock. I know. There's this ice cream place, and I, I ran into it when I was in Hot Springs. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh, I know the place. That place is good. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Do you ever wonder if uh, you could, uh, if it would ever, like, if you'd hold the place up, just so you could climb in the freezer with all the tubs of ice cream and just start. And, just, know, and that's where go. they caught me. That's right. Yeah. You're just in there. That's where the police caught me. It's like, take me. You it's know, fine. You know, uh, you know, cookies and creams. Uh, you speaking know, of mints, prison. Or whatever. Speaking of, chip. speaking of prison. DQ. Um, is a prison considered all inclusive? Yes. Three okay. hots and a cot. Technically. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. It is. You going there? You never know. Okay. I don't have a whole lot going on. Okay. Well, we'll hey, we'll write letters on your behalf. How about that? Uh, thank you. Yes. Yeah. No, actually, you know what? That would keep me in longer. Okay. We'll write letters telling him how bad yeah. you are. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, ESP at Arkansas, hit that line.com and the hit that line now app. Baseball coming up in a little while. Arkansas and South Carolina. And again, if you missed it, they're playing two tomorrow because weather on Sunday. So they're playing two tomorrow, nine inning games starting at noon. And radio will start at 11 30 on those games. So mm-hmm. uh, there you go. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, Graham uh, knows what time it is with his ice cream uh, store. Thank you, Graham. That's a good one. Well done, Graham. Yeah, that's right. Well done. Yeah. Some good stuff out there. I've never had, I've never been to an ice cream parlor and like, this stinks. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened. To that's me. never like, you know, like, like candy shops, fudge shops. You never had a bad experience there. No, that's true. Yeah. You know, oh, anytime there's a drawer and you got to get the, oh, and all the candies in the um, drawer and you just pick whatever you want out of there. Oh. Now, Jason and Rogers has texted and, they, and I feel like he would know. He said it's three colds and a cot in Benton County. Oh, three colds and a cot. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you, Jason. You sorry, have a microwave sorry, in there. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think they give you a microwave. <laughs> so. Oh man. Okay. Three colds and a cut. We'll we'll make the necessary okay, so, corrections. So it's a two star all inclusive. Got it. I mean, it, it, it's not sandals. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> not that. <laughs> all right. This has been a good time today. We, we we figured out how to eat fajitas properly. Food then tortilla back and forth. Like it's a dinner roll. Mm-hmm. Okay. We figured that out. We, uh, we, the DQs got a birthday today. Right. We got all, then they, uh, got a whole cake in there. 
We got to get it all going Yeah, what are you doing on. with the cake? Thanks for offering. <laughs> you What's wanna, that? No, you I, no I don't. You know what? Here's the other thing is I, I've learned. Like, if you invite me late to something, I'm not going. Because it wasn't on the original. If you're, you're, I, I'm off, you're offering me cake after I said, hey, how come you didn't offer me anything? It's a pity you know invitation. Yeah, no. No, I don't need that. No. <laughs> We also briefly well, discussed. Do you want a slice? No, I don't. I don't think we have plates or anything. No. Or knives. Nope. Or any way to or eat. Or a slicer. No. Yeah. 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 We really need it. Every office should be equipped with a birthday kit. Yeah. yeah. It's got like a yeah. lighter and a cake server and plates and all that stuff. We should sell those. We make dozens. Like we of- make them ourselves. We'd make dozens of dollars putting all that <laughs> stuff together for people. You I'm know sitting I mean? here reading the uh, Yelp reviews for the Washington County Jail. Oh, you enjoy doing this. I yes. love this. This is one of my favorite things. Uh, Don L. Uh, gave it three stars. He said, uh, visited an inmate four to five times. Jail staff, pretty friendly. Had their own rules, though. Uh, some don't care if you wear a hat, while the newbies seem to want to assert themselves <laughs> and make you take your hat off. Overall, not bad, though. But difficult to hear through the plexiglass partition. They don't have the little phone? Did they do the, uh, you know, stay strong, uh, knuckle pound through the glass? Mm. You know what I mean? Did they ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had the little phone with the uh, with the metal thing so you could hear. Uh, God, some of these what are they just, did on TV. Some of these are just priceless. Uh, another that, update. Uh, <laughs> Brian, yes. Brian gave it two stars. He says it used to be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that happens. <laughs> right. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, oh, here's boy. a uh, yeah. update on the LaFleur La County lockup. Okay. All right. Bologna sandwiches every night for dinner. Listen. Um, Bar S, I'm sure. Okay. It's not Oscar Mayer. Come on. That's the good stuff. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> do they at least fry it? Or is it just, you know, like Oscar Mayer? No, no, no. Stuff? It's just cold on the oh. on the bread. Okay. And you hope the bread is not stale, I guess. If it's bread. I've never done time. I don't know. I don't know what this you is like. like. To? Not really. No, okay. Right. Yeah, you would not last very long. No, I DQ don't. would make it. <laughs> you would. I mean, you'd last. I mean, would I? Yeah. I fine. would just not talk to anybody. That's, you've, you've done time. Oh, sure. <laughs> I've I've been I've been held. I haven't done time. Not yet, yeah. anyway. Well, no. Well, there's still, there's still working hope. on it, though. There's still hope. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, uh, ESP in Arkansas. Hit that line now app. Drive home powered by Mr. Sparky. Oh, right. we're having fun here. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's after five. It's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, very, very loose attitude. We unwind. We should really start drinking during this power. I think so we should do. Look, I mean, you want to do that. That's fine. I mean, DQ can't. She's at the controls. Right. Yeah, D- yeah. DQ. You cannot. We yeah. can. Bring the, bring the good uh, decanter in here and uh, see what happens. Yeah. You know how's I mean? that going? I think I'm getting them. Oh, you okay? You actually haven't. Have you broken the seal on the bottle yet? No, not yet. Okay, no, don't no. do that until you get the decanter. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Okay. I'm waiting. But uh, I think I think it's uh, I think it's in a gift coming up at some point. So I don't want to. Oh, is this something you registered for? No, no, no. Well, did we? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Is there going to be a show where we can go through what's on that list? I don't know. Oh, I can promise you, April thirtieth, we'll be doing. It. I mean, there's just like plates and just, i mean there's yeah not... no dq and i did not have that experience oh, yeah. no yeah. i actually didn't have a problem with the list i think your quote was people with dual income shouldn't be asking for gifts i did not say that's that. exactly what you DQ. said you i did that not i'm exactly deeply hurt by this. what i you didn't said. say that you did too i didn't I was maybe because i went, maybe you i thought never it. no 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 i no. would have not said it in that mean of a tone <laughs> oh i'm sorry no you no are no mean. <laughs> what she that said is was, not what I okay, said. Hold on. What she said was, I can't believe that, that people with two incomes not would all. ask for gifts. Not at all. Then she said, What about me? The bride <laughs> The bride's family already hates me. So it's true. You're you're, you're anti frat <laughs> right. and you're anti band. So I am not anti band. Yeah, oh you my are. gosh. Yeah, you speak you're, you're anti frat. You guys don't even know me. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have a tough time getting in the door, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be uh gonna be something. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Kevin Dupree Grove points out on Google Maps, the Fayetteville PD is listed as a B and B with reviews. Oh, well, I know what lovely. I'm doing tonight. Would that be the drunk <laughs> tank? Uh, is that the new one? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Well, I mean, that facility's fairly new. It might still be nice in there. I doubt it. <laughs> it's a jail. Depends, depends on how many delousings they've had it's to a, do. It's a jail, Eric. There's not a lot to like there. Wait, there's a jail in there? Isn't there? Yeah. In the, the in the 
the new one on the it's one Stephen Carr? No, the, no, it's not by uh, Drake Field. Oh. No, no, that's the no, county that's the old oh, one. Oh, that's okay, the county. Okay, okay, okay you talk about talking about the new Fayetteville the new, uh, yeah, yeah. law enforcement facility. Oh no, yeah. no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. No, I think they north. have like very a, northwest Arkansas e right they now. They think guys. they have like a holding cell. Oh, even? it is. <laughs> oh, what's your jail like around the yeah, state? Yeah. Our lines are up. Tell us, Harrison, what's your jail like? Eight six six two eight five four zero zero five. Uh, Dufresne, our <laughs> local felon, says they only hold you there for questions. Oh, okay, all right. Do they uh, the the thing they do on a uh, on um the smuggler show is mm. they chain you to this uh, they handcuff you to this bar, uh they've got a row of those like airport chairs but uh-huh. there's like a rail on the wall and they they, they, they handcuff, handcuff you to the rail you to the wall okay <laughs> yeah right while well, they're trying to figure out and then they put the substance they they get the substance out of your uh, false part of the suitcase they put it in this little baggie that's got some kind of chemical in it you know they flick the baggie and then if it turns blue that's cocaine good to know yeah. Good, good to know. Yeah. So don't take a suitcase for a random stranger when you're in the airport in South America. They don't like that. You'll probably be transporting drugs, <laughs> and you're going to go to jail, <laughs> not them. And it's like ten years too. Like <laughs> it's, it's real time. They're not messing around over there. Yeah. All right. How's the jail in Huntsville? Our lines are open. It's terrible. It got condemned. It's condemned. Okay. How's the Madison County lockup? Our lines are open, 866 uh, DQ's mom is texting. Uh, Harrison, uh, only thing worse is the old Madison County jail. Um, would your mom need to, does she need to talk about something? She's never been to jail. That you know of. That but you're she aware would, of. I guess she would know what the mm-hmm. what the jail looks like. But the Madison County jail is in pretty bad shape. Good, Krusty, all of our cars are going to be on Krusty fire. Krusty from now, Harrison but... has sent us his mug shot. <laughs> <laughs> Dufresne uh, say he concurs. Oh, it uh, was awful. No. <sighs> okay. Wow. Okay. So the jail someone... isn't where you want to go. It is all inclusive, <laughs> but I mean, it's... I, I'm really sorry that I brought this up. Well, it was just uh, something I was thinking about earlier. It's happening. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, Here's think... a former jailer. Oh really? Okay. In Mad in Marshall, mm. they ate better than him. Oh, <laughs> well, oh, flat well. screens. The jail to go to is Searcy uh, County. Yeah, clearly, apparently. right? Uh, yeah, Marshall, right? Searcy County, I think yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dufresne says the uh, the ADC prison in Calico Rock is beautiful. Dufresne has been to many of these yeah. facilities. Yeah, many of them. Yeah. He is a uh, he's an expert. He's done a stretch in every uh, right. every place from Maine to New York. That's right. <laughs> It had bars on it. He's probably been in it. That's right. He is. <laughs> Does he have that Marlena Dietrich poster on he the might. wall or something? He <laughs> very well might. Oh, boy. All right. Well, that's uh, that's fun. Uh, that theater fun... guy <laughs> says the Boone County allows private visits, so that's nice. They know. Uh, he says the Department of Community Corrections in Texarkana does not. Mm. Okay. Good to know. Here's well, a text out of New Jersey. Wishing DQ a happy birthday. Hey, Jersey. All right, Jersey. Hey, what hey. exit? That's right. What exit? That's right. That's how they communicate. Michigan, you tell them on the hand where you're from, and uh, Jersey, it's right. what exit, right? <laughs> That's funny. That's right. They put yeah. them on the hand. Yeah. Yeah, okay. DQ, yeah. where in Michigan? I scored with a Michigan girl once doing that. It was pretty good. I mean, this was like, you know, 2006, but I mean, it was. You know. <laughs> Go on. I met a girl in the club. Back in the day, which club? club in Ruskin? I don't remember which one. Club in, it's not club in <laughs> Ruskin. It's not material to the story, all right? Go on. But I'm like, oh, Michigan, where are you from? I start pointing at the hand. And she's like, oh, right here. Oh, okay, yeah. It's my in. It's the only time I've ever had an in. I've never done that. I, I usually never. I'm always like, hey, um, hope this evening finds you well. <laughs> I have no game. What? Um. <laughs> so you... Said, where are you from? Started pointing to your hand. Yeah, well, she said Michigan. Oh, yeah, the hand thing. Yeah, yeah, That's right. It worked. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> huh. It was a very, very long time ago, Zachary. I feel like I can't emphasize that enough. It was a very long time ago. It was this century, though. Well, yeah, but, okay. you know, about 150 pounds ago. That'll tell you something. So, huh. <laughs> yes. where are you from? I was doing the weather then. I don't think I had my ever, earpiece did in. Did you ever make up on? I don't think so. When, no. In a suit? I don't think I had the suit on, though. No. Sometimes I'd keep the shirt on. Now, 
change oh, pants, okay. but you know, it's different. You know what? Day drinking's right. That should come up in the toast. No, it should not. Should put that in. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Can I proofread? Oh hell! No. Your no, 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 yes. no, 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 yes, no, you no, can. You have no. to take it serious. I will. Because it's her. It's her I first know. wedding. It's her only wedding. It's her. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> My last wedding and her only it's wedding. Her only wedding. <laughs> and you're worried about me? Well, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I didn't mean for it to uh -huh. mean that. Uh huh. Yeah. No, no, no. I got Thank this. Thank you, DQ. I've got this. I promise. I will. I will be very nice to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I can't make that same promise to you. But I will end it. I will land the plane. Okay. Thank you. I would like to uh, address, uh, and I'm not going to any of these places, and none of these places are in the United States. They have uh, come up with the 10 best-smelling cities on Earth. And the are United States says... Michigan? No, none of them are in the United Where States. Where are you from? <laughs> hey, man, in that's 2006, a, things that, worked a little differently. That is differently, such right? a Jersey thing. We didn't have apps. Hey, this is... Where are you from? <laughs> Hey, baby, were you... well, that's what they do. It wasn't a construction site. <laughs> you right. made it say, hey, baby, where are you from? <laughs> hey, I knew you when. I mean, really? Oh, Not wow. even a hi, how are you doing? What's your name? Well, I, I, we, we, were, we were talking, oh. and then it got to where you're from, and she said oh, Michigan. Oh, 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 <laughs> Michigan. Hey, that's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's probably a better story if it didn't work. You know that I think about it. So, uh, oh no, 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 it didn't it, work. It had to work. <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh, Amber uh, says, "Don't worry, a girl always remembers her first marriage." <laughs> anyway, uh, here are the uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Please, right, we got to so, go to yeah. break now. We got to go to oh, break. We now. Yeah, we got to go to break right, now because we got to go to the, the you know there's a whole thing with baseball and it's all it's it's complicated. It's technical. Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Uh, we will get to the. Uh, Best smelling cities on earth coming up after these important words. Stay where you are. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866 285 4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. If you're looking for a company to dispose of your waste responsibly, Cards Recycling is your best option in Arkansas. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Now with a state-of-the-art transfer station in Springdale, Cards accepts residential, commercial, and industrial waste, including construction and demolition material. Waste collection for businesses of all sizes. Dumpsters, roll-offs, compactors, you name it, Cards can handle it. No job too big or too small, Cards does it all. Visit them online at CardsRecycling.com or give them a call, 877-59-CARDS. Home is everything. It's your sanctuary, your command center, your music room, and your art studio. It's where you eat family dinners and make lasting memories. When you use a Weikert agent to help you find your home, we'll help you find the space to make it yours. When you begin your search, know that a Weikert agent will be there with you every step of the way. Because at Weikert Realtors, we guide you home. To get started, call your local Weikert agent and look for our bright yellow signs all over town. At Weikert Realtors, we sell more because we do more. Each Weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. This PGA Tour moment is brought to you by True Green. Greg Norman, Seve Ballesteros, and Augusta native Larry Mize began a sudden death playoff at the 1987 Masters. After Ballesteros was eliminated, missing a five-foot putt for par on number 10, Mize and Norman moved on to 11. Mize sank a 140-foot chip for an improbable birdie. Norman failed to hold his, and Mize captured his first and only major with one of the most miraculous shots in major championship history. True Green, the official lawn care treatment provider of the PGA Tour. I love a beautiful lawn. I hate doing lawn care. That's why I use True Green. They're the official lawn treatment provider of the PGA Tour. We all know those are some nice greens. So just imagine what they could do to your lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, get one application free. Visit TrueGreen.com for the best lawn at the best price. Guaranteed. Restrictions apply. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, ever feel like you're carrying around a backpack full of bricks, that sluggishness, that weight, it's holding you back from being your best self? At Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness, we've got the game changer you've been waiting for, semaglutide compound. Imagine shedding those pounds, feeling lighter, and regaining that confidence you've been missing. 
But let's get real for a second. What happens if you don't take action? That backpack, it gets heavier. Your health, your energy, your zest for life all weighed down. Why choose Boxy? Simple. We're not just about weight loss. We're about transformation. Our tailored programs, expert guidance, and weight loss medications combine to offer you a personalized path to success. And fellas, listening on ESPN, this isn't about vanity. It's about vitality. It's about reclaiming your game on and off the field. Are you ready to drop that backpack and step into a lighter, brighter tomorrow? Choose Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Choose transformation. Choose you. Go to VoxyNWA.com for more details or text us at 479-274-8454. That's V-O-X-Y-N-W-A.com. Is this the right time of year to sell your home and buy something new? Hi, this is former Razorback and Super Bowl champ Brett Good with Collier & Associates. The market is changing. Mortgage rates have declined in recent weeks. Do you know what the current market value is for your home? Call or text me today at 479-651-2292. And let's discuss your best options in today's real estate market. That's 479-651-2292. Or go to our website at searchnwahome.com to start the conversation. Good team at Collier & Associates wishes you the best in 2024. Richard's Country Meat Market has everything you need for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Live crawfish, shrimp, sausage, corn, and potatoes. Give Richard a call by Wednesday to place your crawfish order and pick it up on Friday. While you're there, choose from mild to spicy seasonings for a delicious Cajun crawfish boil. Plus, Richard's has the best selection of fresh fish like salmon and cod. With over 25 years of business, you know Richard's Country Meat Market is the only place to get top choice in prime meat. Teddy Jean hams, fresh fish, crawfish, and in-house seafood. Richard makes it easy with in-store and curbside pickup. To place your order, call ahead at 479-443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. One block east of College and Rolling Hills Drive. For curbside pickup and to place your crawfish order, call Richard's Country Meat Market at 443-0000. Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville. 479-443-0000. Guild Mortgage. Guild Mortgage. Hey, this is Joey at Guild, located at 816 North Main Street here in Harrison. Many people ask me if it's a good time to buy, and the answer is yes. Even with the rising rates, it's a great time to buy. Here at Guild, we'll give you the honest and trustworthy advice on purchasing a home. So give us a call at 870-416-3755 or online at guildmortgage.com, and we will help you through the home loan process. Guild Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, Company MLS 3274, Individual MLS 410478, all loan search underwriting approval, terms and conditions apply, subject change without notice. Get ready for adventure with unbeatable deals at Wheels RV. Now through the end of February, we're rolling out the red carpet for you with our exclusive employee pricing event on select in-stock trailers. That's right. You pay what we pay. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing Wills RV. Employee pricing on select models. RV show pricing on all new and used inventory. Hurry in. This offer is for a limited time only. Visit Wills RV today for details and to start planning your next great adventure. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV. Hello, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist R.B. Bobby. The 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a cool weekend out there and certainly chilly out there tonight with partly cloudy skies, lows dropping into the mid-40s by tomorrow morning. As we go throughout the day on Saturday, we'll have some increase in cloudiness, but uh, not a totally cloudy day. Highs low to mid-60s. A spotty shower can't be ruled out, but generally a dry Saturday. Saturday night, cool again. Lows dropping back in the 40s for Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, a lot of sunshine, not a bad day. Highs in the mid-60s. That's your Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitBatLine.com. Countdown is on to uh, Razorback Baseball. We're minutes away for bringing you all the action on some of these stations live from Columbia. Phil Elson is on the scene, ready to bring it to you. Here on uh, e- some of these ESP and Arkansas stations and on the Hit That Line Now app coming up uh, very soon. So stick around. In the meantime, we will uh, continue to fill the time <laughs> until that happens. Yeah, until, <laughs> until, you, until, you, until the, uh, the what is it, Mr. Slate uh, hits the whistle. And pulls the uh, little birds down. He goes, ah! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yabba dabba do. Mm. Flintstones. Uh, Meet so you're, the Flintstones. So you're texting with Bubba Car- Carpenter. Yes. Uh, Hensley Mullins, the uh, the Rockies uh, hitting coach, was caught in the 
captain's chair of a moving 757. Uh, Bubba can, cannot do. Yeah, Bubba does confirm he is not a pilot. Okay, all right. Uh, they played together in the minors. Uh, oh. there, see, small world, right? I knew he would. I knew. I knew he would know it. So, uh, yeah, he was. Uh, he had a video on social media. DQ. What is wrong with your team? Of um, yeah. This is the Rockies. This, this is, is, team, this, this, is this, this is DQ's beloved team. I think I jinxed them. No, they sucked before. Okay, yeah, but... they've been bad for the better part of two decades now. I mean. It's, I don't know why he would have thought that no one would, you know, question well, why he was doing that if you, or if, if that was illegal. It, if you do it, that's one thing. But I think my friend over here has learned you never give them a second run at you. Yeah. You don't put it on like you don't put it on social media. I bet I bet this situation is really common, but it is not videotaped and it certainly isn't posted. Right. He called me his friend. Who did? You. I'm huh? touched by this. <laughs> you heard it? You heard it? No. Said my friend over here. Yes. <laughs> That's what he said. Yes. Thank you. I'm honored by this. The Rockies, by the way, I'm sad to uh, report, weathered out today. Oh, well. Against the Mariners. <laughs> you know, yeah. They, they were FAA'd out. <laughs> the FAA's got that whole thing going there. Who let them in a cockpit? No. It's a United Charter, so they may get in some uh, trouble, too, there. All right. Uh, well, uh, some of you are going to be going to Razorback Baseball no very soon. Arkansas and South Carolina. Phil Elson standing by to bring you the call. Coming up next on some of these ESPN Arkansas stations and on the Hit That Line Now app. All right. All right. Now the juvenile delinquents. We just got us. rid of the nerds. So now we can have fun. I have in my hand here the 10, the, uh, let's see here, a U, a British company that um, has come up with the 10 European cities. Yeah, these all are European. Well, they should really look at the rest of the world here. I'm okay. Saying. These are the best smelling cities based on um, cleanliness, proportion of flower shops, bakeries, and perfume shops. These are the 10 best spelling cities. Athens, Greece on the list. Believe that? <laughs> Athens had an 8.3 out of 10 on the uh, smell score. They have many bakeries with delicious and sweet baklava. 31 flower shops. You had baklava? I don't think I have. Is that good? <sighs> yeah. Paris, France. Uh, you got all the bread baking. Uh, no? uh, I, I found... Paris in particular to be just the dirtiest city on the planet. It is nasty. You might want to give New York another try. <laughs> no, it, it I hear pickpocketers pick are pretty bad yeah. in Paris. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I That's hard to say. Yeah, pickpocketers pick, in pick Paris. Pick pocketers. Um, I I found Paris to be incredibly dirty. The Champs Elysees is not the only thing that's great there. Is uh, there are there's some really good restaurants. The Eiffel Tower is overrated. It's a big iron structure. With the big um, radio antenna. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And and when you get to the top of it, you can't throw your beret off. They don't like that. European they vacation. Don't. Yeah. yeah oh. and the dog jumps after. Um, <laughs> um I I I was not a huge fan of Paris, but I don't like the French anyway. No, you're not a you don't like USC or the French. That's correct. They're they're basically to me one and the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's just crap everywhere. Yeah. Ugh. Well, this is just Europe. I'm not interested in this. I thought this was a worldwide uh, uh, survey here, but it's not. So I've lost interest in this all the time. Mm. Sorry, folks. I should have read the article. <laughs> yeah, it, it's generally it, it's generally the key to to read what uh, what you're going to talk about before. I mean, even if you do it in the site in the the commercial break before. I don't read much. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't That's read fair. much. Here's a Florida story. Oh, you. good, Florida man. Uh, NASA has confirmed an object that crashed through the roof of a Florida home was indeed garbage from the International Space Station. Oh. A cylindrical object crashed through Alejandro Otero's roof in Naples back in March. The sound was recorded on the homeowner's ring camera. Hmm. So NASA took the object, they examined it, and uh, yeah, it was the remains of an eight, a 5,800-pound cargo pallet. Oh. So it was what's left after it got burned up. A it was pallet? a 1.6 pound piece of debris measuring four inches long. Hmm. 
from the uh, from the ISS. Um, so yeah, the, now the space station's falling out of the sky and hitting Good people's houses. All right, Fantastic. Well, I don't yeah. I don't think I'd want to be on the space station. I'm not big on 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 like flying around heights that kind of thing. But the weightless thing that uh, wouldn't work for me. Well, they got like the Velcro shoes, don't they? So they can walk around in there, like get on the treadmill, yeah, stuff like that. It would be just to do basic tasks. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like you can't go to the bathroom the regular way. Hit the you know that floating the, around the bag and the you know terrible. hit the hit the exit button. I, I saw Apollo thirteen. We talked about that. Yeah, not down with that. Yeah, yeah. The hardware was expected to fully burn up during entry, but did not. However, uh, some of it did not. And well it done. Hit NASA. a house in Naples. God, NASA. Oops. Well, they haven't been the same since uh you know the guy in the white vest uh, retired. Was no. it Gene Gene Kranz. Yeah, Gene Kranz. Yeah. yeah. Gene Kranz really held that thing together. He really did. All right, let's check on these poll questions. Oh, you want to do that? that? Yeah, right. let's do that. Yes, Your Ruskin please. and Zach X polls. I'm brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. When your fuel light comes on, at how many miles to go would you be considered irresponsible? 62.4% of you say 10 miles to go. Is health insurance so expensive now that snitches are getting Band-Aids? 92.5% of you said yes. DQ, it's her birthday today. She is 23. Using her math, how old is she? The correct answer is 25. 35.9% of you knew that. 43.9% uh, of you said 20, which is the incorrect answer. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479 225 8809. If you're just hopping on, Rodney Hill, running back from Florida State, is committed to Arkansas, according yeah. to his agent. Joe Hernandez of the Just Win Management Group got 417 yards and two touchdowns in uh, two full seasons with the Knolls. And now agents are confirming commitments. It's the third time this week I've read that, and I don't like it. Guys, I don't like it. I don't like it. Brave new world. Yeah, we're we're in a whole different world. No. DQ, do you need an agent? I don't think so. Now, the, the other... Here's the other noteworthy thing involving uh, college sports today uh your beloved state mm -hmm. commonwealth yeah of virginia oh we're taking it serious now just gonna be able to just the, the schools yep. can hand out the money yes they did yes they did uh, starting july 1 virginia tech is coming back baby get inner sandman queued up the one they're got, handing out money honestly, the one you gotta watch for is virginia virginia's uh, got a lot of money a yeah. lot yeah 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 well, and the Commonwealth said, "You know what? The hell with you guys. We're going to do it our way." Because they you know every state has their own rule, and now this is probably the most player friendly NIL rule oh, that yeah. I've heard of. Uh, Missouri's where you can start it in high school is pretty friendly if you commit to the a Missouri school in the state, but now Virginia, the schools can just start doling out the mm -hmm. cash with their NIL law starting July one. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the glow up for JMU continues. <laughs> yeah, now, we did get a question of does that apply to West Virginia? And not since 1863. No, that is not the same state. We got rid of them in 1863. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian and Gravit, apparently a Virginia Tech fan, says, We're not coming back, Ruskin, unless Vic has a son I don't know about. Oh. Brian, you got to have faith, Brian. Brian. What's the point of this? Come on. Look. Virginia Tech lost its way when it stopped recruiting the beach. We all know that. They beach. start recruiting the beach again. They're going to start winning again. He said. Very simple. We, we all know this. Yeah. Right. They got to recruit Carolina, North Carolina, not South Carolina. Those hillbillies. <laughs> all dirt roads lead to Clemson. That's right. South Carolina. Uh, you recruit North Carolina, Indianapolis, or, uh, Charlotte, and uh, and, and Canapolis, that area. Yeah. Get Get the beach. Stay out of uh, Alexandria, a bunch of snobs. Yeah. And you'll be fine. Get Richmond, though. You better own Richmond. Alexandria. Yeah, that's a snob. DC. <laughs> Wait, that, oh, like, that's, oh, I was, yeah. I was, I was listening to Beltway. I was listening to Grant Hill the other day, and he, uh, he was talking about, they were talking about the, the, the Wizards. And he was talking about how the guy said, Well, you're from DC. And Grant didn't correct him. Grant is from Reston, Virginia. Which is Northern Virginia? You know, his dad played for the for the uh, the Washington Redskins. lived in yeah. lived on the Thomas Hill, the the, the Calvin. 
Calvin Hill. Okay. Uh, he lived on the uh, the Virginia side of, of D.C. He's from Reston, Virginia. And Grant didn't correct, correct him. Grant is no longer part of the uh, the Commonwealth. Sorry, Grant. Out. Yeah, you're out. You know, you want to you want to align yourself with uh, with DC? Go ahead, have fun. Wow. Wow. Oh, Bryant's for the seven five seven. Okay. Calvin played for the Cowboys, Washington, mm-hmm. and uh, Cleveland Super Bowl champ. And uh, you know that the, the um, his mom, if I remember correctly, his mom was a congressional lawyer. Well, here's the. Here's I think a, here's a weird thing about uh, about the Grant Hill deal. So you know Grant Hill throws the pass to Leitner, mm-hmm. and Vern Lundquist is calling the game. Years earlier, Vern Lundquist is doing the sports at Channel Eight in uh, Dallas when Calvin Hill was a cowboy, and he made the announcement that night on the sports. Hey, Calvin Hill and his wife just had a uh, new son, Grant. Mm-hmm. So he announced the kid's birth. On Dallas TV, nice. and then he's uh, doing the uh, calling the Leitner play in 1992. Life is weird like that. Life, you know what I mean? Yes, you can you can circle back. You know uh, what's his name? Burn never uh, scripted anything like his live spots. Never scripted no, anything. No, it was all just right off the yeah. top of his head. Incredibly hard to do. Well, you can't to come up with a caption so perfect just off the top of your head is hard just, to do. Like uh, the kick six, an answered prayer, like yeah. that 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 just came to him. That you got to be a, you're you're a, you're a special kind of individual when that stuff just pops in your head while we're watching one of the most shocking college football plays of our entire lives. You okay. know what I mean? Was that one more more shocking, or was it the week before when you had the prayer, the prayer Jordan. at Jordan Hare? The kick six is more shocking. I don't know because Nick Marshall launched that thing right down the middle. It bounced off two Georgia defenders. You see a tip ball touchdown a lot. You never see. A field goal return for a touchdown to win a game. Was it ever? A, if never see if that. they were reversed and the tip was against Alabama, the kick six was against Georgia. Would you think differently? Was it the the opponent that made that so special? Maybe. I think it is. Maybe. Also, people forget. That, I mean, you everybody. But I've never that. seen, and to this day, we've still never seen a game in like that. No, 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 no. A, one of one. But if but if it were, it, it had a lot of it had to do with Alabama. It's all because Nick asked for one more second. If he had, had not asked for that mm-hmm. one more second, they wouldn't have kicked You're that right. field goal, and they wouldn't they wouldn't have had uh, the um, Chris Davis. Uh, Abner with a great question here. Have you ever gotten so bored you called the phone number you had when you were growing up? I have never been that If bored. I did that, my father would answer. Oh, wow, same one. Huh? Same one. Idlo, what up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah if, I, if I did it, my dad would be like, what? Now, don't give that phone number no, out when you're doing no, the no, uh, no, live no. read. Don't, don't do that. Yeah. All right, we'll tell you what we learned coming up here in a moment. 19 till the hour. This is Ruskin and Zach. I did have a delivery of a bunch of long wood yesterday. ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. The madness continues at Mad Rooster Beer Company in Fayetteville. Mad Rooster brews high-quality, innovative beer selections, including IPAs, stouts, fruited sours, and seltzers across their 30 taps. Mad Rooster has eight big screens and key game audio, so you won't miss a single minute of the action. Don't settle for an ordinary watch party when you can experience all the madness at Mad Rooster. Mad Rooster Beer Company, brewed locally in Fayetteville at 1107 Southwest Avenue. Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play. From lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit shopcupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy. Welcome to Lighthouse Financial, where they understand your financial life is more than a rate of return. 
With over 60 years of combined experience, the Lighthouse financial team of experts look to help reduce the amount of taxes you'll pay during your retirement years. If your current advisor isn't incorporating taxes into your retirement planning, then give Lighthouse Financial a call at 479-696-8234. That's 479-696-8234. Or online at lhfinancial.net. Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. The winning celebration continues at Indigo Sky Casino. Every Friday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., play for your chance to win a complete mower package, including mower, trailer, leaf blower, trimmer, chainsaw, and weed eater. Come stay, play, and party to win your share of over $1 million in total cash and go rewards prizes. Delicious chef-created entrees, live entertainment on the weekends, excellent selection of adult beverages in Creekside Bar and Grill. IndigoSkyCasino.com for details. Highway 60 west of Seneca, Missouri. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, 999-1234 for QC Kinetics. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group has immediate openings in the Northwest Arkansas area. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, electrician, diesel mechanic, have painting or concrete labor experience, or experience in a quarry, apply today at jobs.crh.com. APAC offers top pay, a sign-on bonus, benefits including insurance, retirement, and profit sharing. Apply online today at jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group is an equal opportunity employer. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster and in the past decade as a roofing contractor. He knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Welcome to the entertaining portion of the broadcast day. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right. SEC Plus, by the way, has the TV for all the baseball this weekend. Softball is about to get underway out at Bogle. Uh, It is uh, Taylor Swift night. At the ballpark, of course, in honor of the uh, new album, I'm sure. Uh, why aren't they honoring DQ? I don't know. It's her birthday. I really don't know. DQ, which uh, rest? Uh, text me which restaurant you're going to, and I will have them sing you "Happy Birthday." That's okay. The regular or the one, two, one, yeah, two, two, three, three four. Yeah, happy, yeah, happy yeah. birthday! Yeah. I'm going option B. Oh, option right. B on that one, yeah. They had to do that before the uh, copyright ran out on a happy birthday. You know? <laughs> You had to pay for happy uh-huh. birthday or all those uh, times. All right. Uh, winding it down here. Another uh, exciting week. here. Uh, on, yeah, uh, yeah. Sec. Ridiculously exciting. <laughs> That's right. Hey. Well, DQ, it's your birthday. What did yep. you learn today on your birthday? I learned that General Mills founded Olive Garden and once owned the Parker Brothers. Wow. Oh, okay. 
Good company Love that. right there. Quality. And also owned Eddie Bauer. Oh, oh okay. Clothing company. I learned today when a woman becomes president, her husband will be called the first gentleman. Mm -hmm. Did not know that until yeah, today. The second gentleman. Who's that? Uh, Doug, D Doug, whatever his name Doug, is. Doug, what's his name? Yeah. Llewellyn? Kamala's. No, 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 no. Kamala Harris's husband? Yeah, what's his name? Doug Llewellyn. No, that's the people's court guy. Doug Flutie. Yeah. Dougie Fresh. How many Dougs you got in the chamber? Doug Smith. Doug Imhoff. Doug Flynn. Big Doug. Doug. <laughs> That's cartoon. That's not our Doug. Doug. Uh, I learned the um, the smell after it rains is called petrichor. Mm, take that, Darby. Yeah. Petrichor. I don't know, like, know what to say about that. Smells like petrichor in here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I That's think. surprising. <laughs> All right. There's your, uh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, it's closing time. I mean, yeah, we got to get that in. Yeah, time. right, yeah, right. Yeah, that'll get everybody you to your house. Um, enjoy the full closure. <laughs> We're closing <laughs> that 11 matter, Peter. Uh, uh, they took your advice, Peter, on the crows. Yeah, a murder of crows. Uh -huh. I found a uh, like a back alley uh, cheat code to watch some AFL. It's like their AFL um, uh, Sunday ticket deal. <laughs> really? Yeah, I can watch all 12 games. It's great. Wow. I don't have a lot going on. So mm -hmm. this is how I amuse myself. Yeah, but you don't say you're busy. So that's not, why you. We, no, I'm, I'm telling you. That I avoid have, all I judgments. Have, I have nothing going on. Nothing. Not a thing. I'm going home tonight. I'm going to put my feet up. I'm going to eat some cookie butter and some Nilla wafers. I'm going to see how fat I can get. <laughs> that's what I'm doing this weekend. I'm going to eat this whole jar of Biscoff cookie butter. It's, it's like I didn't have a goal before this. This is what I'm doing. This goal. I'm going to eat this whole thing. This whole thing is going in my belly. <laughs> okay? Y'all go have your fun. Go be busy. Go see Fiddler on the Roof and wherever you're going to eat. I'll be on my couch eating Nilla wafers and cookie butter. You know why? Because I ain't got nothing going on. Not a thing. Do you want to come to the Strawberry nope. Festival? I do not. Oh. Nope. You should, I am, you I'm should going, go see To Kill a Mockingbird of the Walmart uh, It's great. No, I'm going full shut-in. That's what I'm going for. Is when I go home, I'm 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 gonna change into my comfy eating pants. It's all I'm doing all weekend. With the cookie butter. With the cookie butter. I may just eat it straight out of the. I mean, with the finger, and just see how much I can eat. Well, that would keep Kenzie away. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. I mean, she might eat it. She'd anyway. She walk huh? in, go ew, and and like turn and walk away. I have nothing to do this weekend. Nothing. The squadoosh. I'm gonna weigh seventeen thousand pounds yeah. when I come in we'll, here on we'll Monday. Wheel you in here. Yeah. At least I'm honest about it. I got nothing. Yeah. Zero. You sound uh, thrilled about this. I trip. am actually. You know, I, I have found a peace, a harmony in my life. Yeah. Of doing nothing? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I don't have to answer to anybody. It's beautiful. It's having, beautiful, well, except the 12-year-old. He's having a good time. Yeah, get my hair cut tomorrow so Melinda can tell me that I'm ugly again. <laughs> That's right. Can't wait for that. Wait, turn your head. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. You need one. Yeah, I know. I know it's I, it's every Top dog it's every thirty seven days. I got to make that. Uh, well, you've got it down to a science. Well, I, what I thirty seven days is the day when I it starts to puff out and I start looking like Cesar Romero. <laughs> and at forty five is when I usually make the appointment, and then like two or three days later, bang, it's done. Another excellent topical <laughs> reference, Thank Cesar you. Romero. Well, you, you know the guy that played the Joker in the TV yes, series. Okay, yes, well that's when my hair starts to look like after about thirty seven days. I start looking like Cesar Romero. And it's just time, man. It's just time to get my hair cut. Yeah. It, it's time. I'm trying to get her on a, like a recurring thing, but she won't engage with me on this. Yeah. She just, you know, tells me that I'm ugly. Did you know a bad haircut can make the faces, of the, the features in your face make That's you ugly? Yeah. That's what I hear. She yeah. doesn't like my impression of her either. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, y'all. Not flattering. No. Well, I mean, she called me ugly. But that's okay. I get natural yeah. skin. I get to see uh, Trey. What's his name? The the balancer guy. Tyler, the, uh, yeah, the balancing the, the, guy. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, I'm excited about that. That's yeah. all I got. I put a ladder on his chin or something. Can't wait. I don't know. Can't Legs wait. open. He puts the top of the ladder on his chin and then. Uh, oh, the ladder. Got it. You are a. <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? Uh, what are we gonna do with you? <sighs> I, uh, the uh, Red uh -huh. Sox and Pirates are playing this. Weekend. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Teams. I think I'm going to go home, eat some cookie butter, and uh, and drown my misery 
in uh, in baseball and cookie butter. That's uh, Abreu just hit one out of the park. Great for a bus to lose ten to one. <laughs> That's <laughs> fantastic. Real ray of sunshine. He left the stadium. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Who would he hit it off of? Who's pitching? I don't. I kid. I didn't get that piece of information. Hey, uh, uh, DQ's dad may be interested in this. Today in 1973, the first U.S. consumer product sold in the Soviet Union. Anybody want to know? Pepsi. That's it. We got it. Pepsi. Wow. Oh, yep. Jeff Long part of that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took a minute. I'm with you now. I'm on your frequency. One day he should do a tell-all about his time here. I'd work on that. When you're gone. I'm going to see if he'll come in. Oh, good. I, I have questions, too, you know. No, no, you'll be on your honeymoon. Ah, oh, come on. Nope. I'll call in. No, I no. would appear for that. I got I, it. I got I, questions. I, I got it. You bring the Comrex with you? Bielema, what, 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 were, you, what were you thinking there? <laughs> hey, man. It's all, it's all business.